I am so glad you did not pick up the phone. I wanted to leave you a message because I thought about it, and I think I need my own podcast. I, every day, come home from work, and I haven't vented all day. I got nobody to talk to, and I'm realizing maybe I'm going crazy. I didn't get to tell you a story about how I fired the guy uh, last week. He went crazy. He argued with me. It was nuts. Then he used the N-word, used the F-word, a lot of words. Anyway, it's quite a story. I just thought I'd tell you about it. Um, but seriously, I'm kind of glad you didn't pick up because I just wanted to leave you a message and listen to me ramble on on a recorded device. Anywho, where the hell was your podcast from today or yesterday? I've been waiting for it. Um, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. This is King Bo Christ, and you're now tuned in to the I Say That to Say This show. Beautiful people, welcome to episode 33, lucky number 33. I don't know about you, but let me first start out saying that that was one of the illest voicemails I ever got in my life. And... Those of you who know me know how much I may leave it like every couple of years I may leave a filthy voicemail on your on your on your phone like it's going to I don't know it's just going to happen I'm just one of those people. So when she, when Shelly left me a voicemail I was like oh shit this is <laughs> like this is going to be some crazy shit or this is going to be fucking hilarious. And I got to say that was one of the illest voicemails I ever got for like numerous reasons but for the first one it's just cuz that was some crazy shit. Like, and I, I spoke to Shelly at this point, so her telling me the story about the kid who went crazy and was fired was nuts. We'll get into that at some point. But uh, it's just, I, I know what you, I know what she meant. You know, when sometimes you just got to get the shit off, and that's, you know, like I said, it's a thousand reasons why that voicemail was just ill. But that's why, I, that's how this podcast got started. Because I just got to get this shit off. Like, I have to, you got to release it, you know. And I used to talk to Shelly every day for four years. Like, from the interview, we had a, we shared a good laugh, you know. When I used to, that's my, my former boss, former boss. Uh, from the interview, like, we had a good laugh. And I was like, oh, she's cool. Like, I would definitely work there. That's awesome. And uh, after a while, we just got cool, you know, and, and. Sometimes we just just like a ten minute talk, and I was I'd always live out of her office. Like, wow, that was that was cool. And when I was I went through a lot of shit at the, this stage in my life. And uh, Shelly, I gotta say, she was there through a lot of it. You know, the the roller coaster within whatever two year span I was going through, she was she was there. So it was pretty cool to uh, to have someone like that who just you know like you have your friends and you have your family. But for someone to really start as an outsider or a real stranger and you really get to know them, and at this point, they know everything about you more than people you've known for 20 years, 30 years, this shit is like, it's, it's crazy. And I used to say, well, I used to say, but I don't even know where I got this stupid shit from, but uh, I used to say, you only allow three good women in your life. And... I used to, for some strange reason, I always thought it was, I always interpreted it as, like, exes. So if you, if you, if you blew it with the girl of your dreams, like, hey, you only got two more chances at love, right? So, and then, like, I'd say, like, four or five years ago, it hit me when I th- really thought to myself, like, damn, not even four or five years ago. Like, after I got married, I was like, damn, you know what's crazy? Between my wife, my mom, and Shelly, they know everything about me. Like, between my wife, my mom, and Shelly, I have zero secrets. Like, everything. everything. I mean, maybe it's some shit that I didn't bring up, but I'm willing to tell those, out of those three people, I'm willing to tell them anything. So, and, and, and you can't, you know, Shelly doesn't know everything about me. My wife, I think, knows pretty much everything about me unless I... Uh, Unless I just left something out. It's one of those moments where my wife definitely knows everything. Even if, like, Shelly, some shit, you just... Shelly's like 
my third mom. You know, like, it's some shit you just don't tell her. Like, what I was just going to say about my mom. My mom doesn't know everything about me because it would fucking blow her mind. She'd be like, no way, I don't believe it. Not my son, you know? <laughs> but between those three people, they know everything. So then when it hit me, like, damn, you know, that fucking saying, I don't know why I believed it, but I just knew it was true. I could never really explain it until a couple of years ago. And this is the first time I'm actually saying it out loud. Like, even the three of them. I don't think I've ever told either of them that my theory on that, or maybe I have, but never the way it hit. I never even told my wife the way it interpreted me, the way it hit me one day. Like, damn, you know, that is crazy. I got those, I got, you know, that, that, that fucking saying is true. Anyway. But uh, another amazing thing about that voicemail, and I was saying all that to say that me and Shelly originally started like the podcast format when I'd sit in her office with my fucking feet up doing Vine videos or just fucking around on Twitter, and she was just there for a lot of it because you gotta run, you gotta run the jokes past somebody. And when you're at work, Shelly was my go-to girl. Like, oh Shelly, listen, this, this you think this shit is hilarious, and she'd laugh or she'd say, "You out of your fucking mind." And I do it anyway, but at least I knew the reaction I was gonna get. You know what I mean? So it's cool about that factor also. And one thing I always loved about rap was the skits. Like one thing I loved was when fucking Big or or even Cameron or whoever else played voicemails on their album. I loved that shit. Like I just thought the skits was even cool. Even Hove, Hove had some skits, you know what I mean? I always appreciated that as the art and, and to know exactly where someone's coming from. So as soon as I heard that voicemail and I was like, yo, that shit was dope. It just said to me, something said to me and some something, I don't, I don't know. Like it's, this shit just brings me real joy. Like this fucking podcast is my album. This is my diary. This is my project. This is my baby. I love this shit. And... You got to really do the things that make you happy. And this fucking podcast makes me happy. Partly because I'm getting some shit off my chest. And it's just cool because I always wanted to do radio. And now I have audience and listeners and people go to me. It's just my ideal thing. You know, if one, if I had to pick a gift, they say, what do you think a gift is? It would just be to have fucking fun and see the good in things. And this podcast allows me to do that. So... When I heard that shit, my creative juices were flowing. I was like, oh, shit, I got to throw this into, I got to incorporate this into my podcast. And then I started to think, you know what? This is the perfect episode, the King Bo Christ episode. And why I thought it was the King Bo, perfect King Bo Christ episode is because I just referred to myself in the third person. And as you know by now, I'm a fucking sicko. Like, if anybody believes in me, it's me. <laughs> and sometimes my shit gets blown out of proportion and sometimes people say how could you say that and sometimes I offend people but if you spend enough time with me you'll know that shit comes from a humorous place like you'll know look I'm willing to go all the way to get these jokes off I don't give a fuck who's in my way <laughs> even my gra my grandma knows that boy gonna get them jokes off you know what I'm saying <laughs> so here we are, episode 33, and uh, another another thing, which I'll leave you hanging with this, which you guys know I like to do, is some shit is even just for me. That reminds me, quick sidebar, my neighbor's dogs are barking, like, I, I, I don't go on the record saying this, but I want to fucking strangle that dog, and I know Peter would be like, ah, how could you say that? You know how I could say that, Peter? Because... I have three fucking dogs upstairs and obviously my wife is a fucking dog trainer and sometimes we have more than our dogs at the house and they don't make a fucking peep. So yes, that shit's extremely fucking frustrating to the point where it makes me fucking crazy and I think you guys should know that about me and then you know you just know it changed and I'm not going to act on these things I say but in my head how I would come to peace when not getting fucking pissed off and breaking something is in my head when I thought it, I actually, all right, this is good enough, it's done. Like, once I thought about it, I'm like, all right, I know myself, I'm impulsive, I would actually do this, I don't have to do this, let's just move on. And that's how I get over it. And I I think about, like, Taxstone, that's why I fucked with Taxstone, because I knew he meant everything he was saying in that podcast. And unfortunately for him, that led to legal issues, but... That's what separates me, I think, is because I've come too far to throw it all away for my ego. So, 
if I could come on the podcast and talk my shit like rappers do, good enough for me. But uh, I forget, it, that's I also ramble. But this is a good time for us to get real acquainted with each other, and we're gonna do a questions and answers podcast. And uh, the perfect way for me to do this would be with the listeners involved. So here's some questions I've gathered over the past couple whatever weeks and and people requesting me and and when people I I, I was even annoying about it when people uh, they ran into me they were like yo Bo uh, I want to know something and I would be like they would tell me after you know I was asking for questions and they would tell me and I would be like uh, they'd say whatever question they'd ask me whatever and I'd be like you know what you gotta listen to the podcast. And they'd be like, what, nigga? And I was just like, I know I'm gonna be annoying about it. But I, so I just been gathering this shit because the best way for me to tell you about me is if you ask. I could go, I could ramble on about some shit, but it may not get your answers. You may not get your answers. So here goes. You know what? Before we do that, I wanna say, I'm glad you guys enjoy what I do because this shit is really a timestamp. So I could just look back and see how right I was. I know I said that before, but I just want to get the new listeners up to speed. You know, and you may think, oh, that's some real arrogant shit to say. Like, yeah, it is. Stay tuned. Because this is my this is my personal, like, instead of um my personal reference, I'll say. Because instead of explaining shit to people all the time, I really... Well, go ahead and be like, no, you know what? I talked about it on episode 14. There you go. Because I don't, I, I just, like I was saying earlier, I don't have the energy to be pissed off at people. And if we're going to share a laugh, fine, we could do that when I see you. I, I'm all for embracing good energy. But if it's some shit like you're like, well, I don't like what you said. Listen, it, you can go, I can go, I'll reference whatever episode I know it's ridiculous, but this is the world we live in now. I'll reference whatever episode. You can listen to it to get my full fucking opinion. And you know what? If you don't like it from there, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? I, you're not going to fucking blame me for how I feel about something. So if you don't like it from there, then we don't have to ever speak again. But if you say, you know what, Bo? I changed my mind. You know, you had a point there, and I respect your decision to feel how you feel. We'll agree to disagree. Or you can say, well, I heard what you said, but you're fucking wrong because whatever example you give me. And I'll say, oh, shit, wow, you know what? You were right. That does change my opinion about it. You know, me being me not knowing that, it does sound a little ridiculous, and then we can have a conversation about it. We can see where we where we went left. You know what I mean? But as far as how what I'm... You know, as far as I'm concerned, hey, listen, it is what it's going to be. <laughs> and uh, my morals have got me this far. And if it ain't broke, don't break it. But uh, so now we can get into the questions with all that being said. I'm here live with my lovely wife. Hello. <laughs> Look at that. I don't even have to tell her to say hello to the people. She's a fucking natural. Uh, let's get into some questions. I brought you down here because she reads to me. I don't know if I'm a king or a baby, <laughs> but but either way, I let her do her thing. How are you today? Before we get into the questions, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Long day, as <laughs> usual. <laughs> are you nervous? Yes. Why? Because I don't do well on... Like, Nobody's looking. It's just us. I know. But it still makes me nervous. Say hi to yourself. Hi to myself? Yeah. Oh, because I'm going to listen to myself later? I might not be able to listen to this. <laughs> You'll be fine. Don't worry. If I don't listen to it, it didn't happen. There's something to that. Yep. There, there definitely is something to that. <laughs> Normally I'd make a trash podcast joke, but I'm not going to do that because <laughs> we're going to keep it very serious this episode. Oh, serious? I doubt all your questions are serious. Are they supposed to be serious? I don't know. <clears throat> Find out. I had a note here to play 
to play Andrew Schultz. Remember that clip I sent you when he said he knew what Jesus felt like? No. No? You don't remember that? Okay. Never mind. Well, <laughs> I guess I got to edit that clip in because now nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. But we'll get into that at another point. You know how my memory is, though. It's not you, it's me. People remember what they want to remember. Yeah, and I don't care about Andrew Schwartz. Schultz. Is that his name? Oh. <laughs> but uh, please, proceed with the questions. I left your, oh, oh. I left your notes there because you didn't show up to the production meeting. I wasn't invited to a production meeting. It was staff only. <laughs> Do I start with this one or the, this one? Okay. Uh, top to bottom, I guess. Okay. Well, these for the for the listeners who don't know, I guess this that was th- I, I got my wife down here, so that felt a little uh, not that felt, a, uh, but I just forgot that we were doing the show. Like I right. just turned the fucking microphone on and started talking. Instead of explaining. But for the listeners, I asked everyone to send in questions a couple weeks ago for the so for the past I don't know three two three episodes I don't know at this point. Uh, People have been sending me questions, and I tried my best not to look at them. I was going to have people's at name in them, but some people were like, I was like, do you want to remain anonymous? And they were like, yeah. Some people were like, no. And I was like, you know what? I just won't say anything to anyone. But um, what? Why are you making that face? I'm just reading the questions. <laughs> oh. Are they, do they, are they going to get good? Um. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. I asked my wife to come down here and read the questions. So it wouldn't be weird, me reading questions and answering myself. I don't know. I just felt like it was... So I have a question about the questions. You can ask me anything. This is your show. Half of your shit is mine. You know what? I want to talk about Tiger Woods while we at it. (laughs) Like, like, can Elon at least... Listen, I want to see Elon shoot 19 holes, 18 holes. That's his ex-wife. Like, she, if she can shoot 18 holes, then I think she... I guess she was entitled to the money. What do you think? I'm sure she plays golf. You're not... Don't be sure. You're assuming. But golf is like something like I, I mean, I grew up playing golf, so I can't say that it's like easy. But I would think that if my husband played golf, golf I would play golf. No, nah, golf isn't easy. You know, I play football. You don't play football. No, but we mini golf together. I guess. Like if it was mini golf, golf I would. I would. I know some of you were shaking your head like mini golf. Mini golf counts. Yeah, God putting is the most important part about <laughs> golf. <laughs> Uh, I didn't really want to talk about Tiger Woods, but I just figured I'd bring it up. I don't even know what I was getting at. Being entitled to half. Oh, yeah. like um, You said half of this show is mine, which I feel like you're just being nice about that, but that's okay. I will burn this fucking laptop down <laughs> before I ever let you take half my show. <laughs> okay, so my question about the questions. What are your questions about the question? Did you like cut some of the questions off, or just pick random ones, or this is all the, this is all the questions you got? Uh, I think that's all the questions I got. I really tried really? to. Yeah, nobody. Ca- you asked me. My oh, wife yeah. asked me. She said, "Were people excited about the questions?" I said, "Nobody gives a fuck." <laughs> And she laughed just like that, but I was serious. I guess if this is all your questions, yeah, nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. Because you have a lot of followers. I'm going live right now as we speak just to talk some shit. Maybe they can ask some different fuck questions. Fuck them. They had their chance. But they... They, like, interact with you more. I'm that was rude. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the connection too poor. See, nobody cares. Anyway. What is, your, what is your question about the question? That was my is that question. It? Is yeah. that all the ones I was you got? Just, yeah, I was yeah, just uh, wondering if they were like specific ones or like from your top followers or mm-mm. just... And big shout out to the Cap F Sports guys. I wanted them to send me in Who didn't follow a clip. <laughs> yeah, I wanted them in to send me in a clip and I was like, yo, send it by Friday so I could record. I didn't follow through. Well, I follow up on it. So that's why I got to shout those guys out because I know they definitely... Graham definitely would have sent in, sent in some ill shit. I wanted to play them on this new screen I got. We're trying to go next level, as I explained. But, uh, all right, honey. All right, ready? Go ahead. I think so. Okay. I'm a little... I don't know what the fuck to think. What's your favorite movie? Well, that's a... You know, we just had this talk. We have this talk all the time. 
Because I say everything is my favorite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a broad question. <laughs> um, my favorite movie. I say Harlem Nights, but my wife reminded me how much I love Training Day. But I love Training Day because I felt like <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a past life, Lorenzo was me. Not in a past life, but if I could choose, if I could trade lives, I would take the nigga from Training Day. Like, I just think that shit is ill. But why isn't Training Day your favorite movie? Because the white man wins. <laughs> That's real shit. <laughs> like, nigga, just give him the money. Like, why didn't he just give him the fucking money? That's annoying. You're a good co-host because you set me up because you know the answers. But that's the guy's honest truth. Like, bro, let's get in the fucking training day for two seconds if you guys want to know my favorite movie. Like, as my wife just said, I, I think, what? how do we bring that up? Like, I forget how it came up. Um, I said. I think we were just talking about your personality. Oh, yeah. But anyway, but like <laughs> with training day, like a lot of sh- that movie is so it was like, uh, not, I don't want to say. Yeah, you know what? I, I will make. The, I, I don't want it to sound like a hot take, but I feel like it was more impactful to me than Scarface. Like Scarface was impactful, but Denzel killed that shit. So I felt like it was like, whoa, that shit actually made it, made me want to be a cop for all the wrong reasons. And I know that's <laughs> fucked up, but it, it really did. It made me like. That actually makes more sense on why you wanted to be a cop. I'm telling you, it made me like, yo, that shit. Oh, you can you can live like this. Like, <laughs> But that was before I cleaned my life up. I'm a new man now. And now if I see you niggas riding around with low riders and shit, I'll call Neighborhood Watch on you. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> so as far as my favorite movies, Harlem Nights and Training Day. Next question. What's your favorite documentary? American Pimp. <laughs> Maybe you need facial expressions. <laughs> nah, on that, it was a, that was a documentary? American Pimp, yeah. It had to be a, a really bad one. I feel like it was a really bad one. Why? American Pimp was ill. Which, like, they went to... I feel like... It, did we watch grandpa. it? We watched it, right? Of course. I, like, how could I not let my wife watch my favorite things? I just feel like pimps are, like... They're, like, fake-seeming. Like, I can't imagine a, a guy wearing those clothes, like, slapping me for something. See, that you can't think that. And first of all, no man would ever put his hands on you. I know that. But I'm just saying, like, if I was in... Because I kill him. <laughs> but seriously. Like, I'm serious. They look silly. I can't imagine being bossed around by somebody that looks like that. <laughs> what you... you you sitting across from a nigga with a bucket hat on in, <laughs> in November. I changed clothes. <laughs> I wanted to put my jewelry on for this episode. <laughs> You're right, but like you're not wearing a purple silk suit. I might with, as well be looking with this a cane. Tight-ass shirt. No, see, that's the that's the shit that Hollywood shows you. That shit's not real. Like an American pimp, they wasn't looking foolish. They had on three piece suits. These niggas was riding around in Rolls Royces. They looked a little foolish still. Like they were over, okay. like way over the top. I give you that, but these guys—they're like drag queens. Sixty years to me. old. That was mad disrespectful. I'm just saying, <laughs> like it's over the top. It just seems over the top. Like it's a little over the top. I mean, I give you that. I, I understand. But I guess to me, I, I really looked at it like, and I'm not that kind of guy. I, I, I always hate when people are like, if it wasn't for this, I'd be dead or in jail. And I grew up looking up to the, the, the pimps and the hustlers. Like, I really hate that shit. But to me, it was really, it's really like, I don't, well, let's just, first let me just address the negative part of it. Like, I, I really think using a woman and taking her money is, is fucked up. Like, if she wants to give it to you, all right, I can't speak on that. But, like, really abusing women and having right. them on drugs and all other shit, like, I didn't like that part of it, obviously. Right. Like, what I liked about it is, like, I don't know, like a, like a gigolo. Like, I'm, I'm, I can't even sit here and lie to you and say that shit's not cool to me because you're my wife. Like, I actually <laughs> think it's cool. Like, if, look, if five women love you, like, that's ill to me. No? Yeah. I mean, I- not in a... If they know. Right. Like, they, they're they cool with it. So that's why I feel like, who am I? Like if- Yeah, I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. Like, but I see your side of it, too. But I just feel like they're overly exaggerated. Like, and I, I don't under... I mean, I would never understand because I'm not in that position. But um, it just... 
I can't imagine following a guy that acts like that. With a perm? (laughs) 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 Hey, listen, I don't know. I was going to get into American Pimp, but we can move on. Next question. All right. On episode... We'll save it for another. I think you should come back on the podcast. We'll do a follow-up episode and address my favorite movies. They may not like me. Um, Okay, it'll come out anyway. (laughs) On episode 26 with Miguel, you mentioned insecurities, but never mentioned any. If you have any, what are they? Uh, I'm anorexic. I shouldn't okay. steal, but 2017 is so sensitive. They'll be like, like, I can't believe you joked about anorexia. But, but, I, I, but you are I mean, being... I, I, I don't even know if this is an actual, like... Like term, I just I heard it once and I thought it was hilarious, so I always said it. But I always feel like no matter how much I work out or no matter how much I um, yeah, I guess work out or, or, or what kind of physical shape I'm in, even though I know I'm in good shape, like I could bust down 25 pull ups. A lot of niggas who I know who I think are in the best shape can't even do half. You know what I mean? So when I I like I know I'm in good shape, but I don't ever feel strong enough. Your heart or big enough. Off. I, I I feel strong, but then when I look at myself in the mirror, I feel like I got to hit the weights harder. <laughs> you know, so that's true. You're just not as extreme as someone with an actual like insecurity, disease, or whatever. But See, it that is an insecurity, though. I think so, because I, I know how yeah. I feel about it. So yeah. I, I, even though I'm an asshole, I really if if I had to pinpoint something I thought was an insecurity, I used to care about my hair going bald but now I don't give a fuck because I saw Deion Sanders get his line back so I'm like all right, just I gotta wait for that first podcast check (laughs) I'm going to uh, whatever that shit is called Respawn whatever that shit is in in Chicago I looked it up so yeah that's that's insecurities next question I'm gonna have to like fix the grammar in some of these so I'm that's editing fun. what were your Yo, first that's another thing you're so funny with the grammar police <laughs> I think the grammar police are hilarious but I don't I don't correct people but like I can't I don't even correct myself because I use talk to text a lot now and it's always off but anyway I can't read it wrong what were the first bars you ever wrote you talk about doing music can we get a freestyle I would, I, I would freestyle, <laughs> but not now. Like I'm not gonna do that now. But the first bars I ever wrote was uh, sold dope, got caught, went broke. No joke, my gold ropes. I sold both, and then I said, I forget. Like I, I, it was something. It was. Uh, I think I remember the verse, but I don't want to fuck it up. But those were the first bars I ever wrote because that shit was real. I had I pawned uh, a pawned a necklace, so that shit was a real like. But that's why I, real I felt it like. So those are the first bars I ever wrote. And I think that song is still fire. I'd be wanting to drop some shit, but I, I'm i retired. But you're not really retired. Because I think rap, it changed. Like, I just, I would do it for me. Like, I would really, you know, we we shuffle my my mm-hmm. iTunes and my shit comes on. And I don't always listen. Like, so if you catch me on a good day, like, I'll let it, I'll let it play. But I don't, I just let, I listen to Tego shit now. You don't like, like to he, hear yourself, though. I know, but... Like, when I listen to Tego, he speaks for me. Like, I listen to that shit like, oh, yeah, okay, good enough. Like, it's, it's like seeing, if you see your if you see your man win, for me to see my brother win and, and do what he do is like, that's good enough for me. I feel like now I just talk shit on the podcast. Yeah. Like, that's why I call it square. So, but what I freestyle, yeah. If you, if if I had enough, what's that? What is that, champagne? If I drank some of that, Bel Air, Rosé, I'd give you 58 bars right now. 58? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. All right. Um, with a name like Christ, why don't you talk about religion or that much? Wait, what? With a name like Christ, why don't... Why don't you talk about religion? Oh, talk about religion that yeah. much. Uh, you know, it never... I wanted to. My my uncle is a... Um, my uncle is a pastor. And I want to like I want to get him on the podcast, like because I, I do want to have that talk. But see, talking about religion, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't talk about religion. I don't know enough about it. You guys, if you what is this fucking ep, what is this episode 33? You know by now I will give my opinion on something, and I can go on for an hour and a half if you let me. I don't know enough about religion and I don't want to just say things to say them. You know what I mean? I don't want to, like, I can't even give you an example because I don't really know. I I know, I know like 
like certain quotes or certain things or you know I know and God said let there be light and right. there was light but I, I don't talk enough about it but and I know it's ridiculous but I never really got to reading the Bible like I wanted to so like I was saying for uh, I was going to have my uncle on the podcast to talk about religion and, and go down that road and before I did that I actually wanted to read the uh, Quran what is it? Quran? Quran? Excuse me I guess this wine is getting to me. The Quran. Okay. And then the Bible. And I think it was like the whole else. thing. Yeah, I wanted to read them both. But, but how else would I know if yeah. I don't read? I just wanted to. I didn't want to. And that's another thing about religion. I don't want to Google it. Like I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, go to my laptop and type out what happened to Jesus. Right. And then tell you how I feel about right. it. Right. I want to read it. And how everyone else read, it, right. reads it and then I want to I'll go from there you know and then I'll tell you how I feel about it so I, the reason I don't talk about religion is because I don't know enough about it like I if if I tell you how I feel about something like like Jesus died at age 33 I know that much that's this KBC episode was just like ridiculously if it would take me 45 hours to tell you like everything I think about it you know what I mean but like, I know that, but if someone said, oh, well, technically he was 34 because we don't really know who he was born, I would be like, oh, shit, you might be right. And then, you know what I mean? So yeah. I don't I don't you even don't know enough to argue. To argue. Right. <laughs> but, I, don't, uh, I don't think most people know enough to argue. I don't think most people read the Bible. And there's so many other religions, too. Yeah. You know? Right. But uh, a name like, and it said, it said, like, a name like Christ, I, I, I do believe that Wow. like we all are the children of something and I was baptized in my life so like it was Jesus like if I believed in right. I don't know if I was raised something else maybe it'd be something right. else but you gotta throw like you got your pop's last name if, if everything went right and <laughs> hey listen if, if he's our father then I'm not wrong next question alright this one is not a question it's like a half but I'm gonna read it because I don't know what it means um, all these sexual assaults in Hollywood. And that's it. Oh, you know what's crazy? I rem- That was, remember I told you, you were like, did you cheat and look at any? I That was one I was like, what? And <laughs> I, I had to, like, like I looked uh... at it like, what? And then I was like, oh, shit. So I do, I do remember that. But, um, and that's why I didn't want to see the questions before. Because I did, right. like, I was thinking about it. And I didn't want, I wanted it to just flow and, right. and be natural. But, right. Uh, yeah, all the the sexuals like like as far as like Bill, I would I actually probably should have asked for more information. But I like as far as Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein and uh, uh, what was the new one? It was a new one. Fuck the guy from we just watched that movie Twenty One, uh, the the movie where they're flying to Vegas and playing blackjack. Fuck, what was that called? Yeah, you know, I'm not the one to ask. That guy is ill, by the way. The guy who plays that role, he was in the shit with Angelina Jolie wanted, I think, curving the bullets. He's ill. But that's another story. So he was accused? <laughs> the, no, 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 he oh, wasn't. Oh, oh. But the um the guy he's in House of Cards. I'm gonna have to Google it. This is a pain in the ass. My apologies to the listeners. But it wouldn't be right if I didn't uh Kevin Spacey. Oh oh I don't even have to Google it. See, and I don't, Kevin I don't, Spacey you know, I don't got, follow the news. He got so I don't accused know what's going of, um, like abusing uh, boys. Oh, you know what's crazy? Yeah, you, yeah. That's a fucking. This, the timing of this question is crazy. I have to go live for this. My apologies. You didn't know that? No, I don't. You know, I don't watch the news. You do that for me. I hate it. Yeah, no, I don't. Really <laughs> that. I don't have that shit's time. Depressing. I don't have time for that. Or the energy. I do. It, like, drains. I got time for it. I'm not going to mm, lie. It drains, like, it drains you, I think. Like, what? it just as a general, not you, you know, personally. You know why? Like, you, normally, everybody. normally, I would have time for it. But I'm watching the uh, Real Americans of the World <laughs> reality show. That, and that and shit's that's, depressing. Yeah, that's what I'm talking so about. So that's like, a fuck what's going on in Hollywood. Yeah. Like, this shit is really happening before our eyes, you know, so... I, I want to say I don't care, but like it, it's there. But anyway, what was the fucking question? Yeah, oh, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey. right? Kevin Spacey got accused of uh, 
like touching little boys. He was like 26, and the boys were like four, in their teens, like 14, Isn't 15, he like 16. 60 now? Yeah. I mean, at the time, this was during the 80s. Right, okay. I, I assume. I, I didn't really look into it. That's why I didn't really speak on it before. But, um, like it's nothing to feel about sexuals it's fucked up like it, you know it, and that was the that's actually why I, I thought it was so perfect and I was hype about it like five minutes ago but then when you think about how fucked up it is like I don't even want to talk about it but um the the when it when it happened Kevin Spacey was like oh I'm gay like he came out like I've been living as bisexual or whatever else but you know I'm a gay man like my bad. That was the 80s. Like, it was kind of like, he was just like, oh, like, by the way, you know, and I was like, nah, bro, you still got an answer to that. Like, and I don't, I hate to compare it to Bill Cosby and I don't want to go down that but road. But that's what I thought of. Yeah, like, Bill, Bill Cosby, I'm like. Because it's like old. If he gets to, like, Harvey Weinstein, he probably, I, he probably will end up going to jail. I don't know. But. I don't know that story either, but that's another Harvey story. Harvey Weinstein was touching on every actress acting. Like, <laughs> it's not funny, but, like, I look at all, like, that's, remember, I would, like, and to bring up Bill Cosby again, when it was, like, two women, didn't pay it any mind, four women, I'm like, eight women, you're like, all right, 15 women, right. 30 women, right. you're like, all right, motherfucker, like, 87 women. Yeah, like, all right, like, all right, so, something happened. Oh, you know but, like, saying? the Miguel episode, he was talking about that guy. Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So like, that's crazy. That shit really happens, and it's fucked up. But you know, it's the same. It's the same with how actors were saying this in Hollywood, and black people were saying it with police brutality. And they're like, "Oh, do you believe this?" Like, yeah, it's always been going on. And you know what? I'm talking about it right now. Nobody's gonna give a fuck next week because R. Kelly is still on tour. So like, people don't really. It's fucked up. Don't get me wrong. But unless people are going to jail, I can't send nobody to jail. I'm just me. I can just talk shit about it on the podcast. But unless people are going to jail, nobody gives a fuck. That's true. I can sit here and tell you how horrible it is for the next three hours. Nobody's going to jail. Nobody cares. Uh, I had something else to say, but next question. All right. I'm moving these questions around because this one fits in. Um, So what's your feels on R. Kelly? That's hilarious. What's my <laughs> feels on R. Kelly? <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. R. Kelly, I don't know how many songs he has out. We'll just say R. Kelly has like 500 songs. I guarantee I know like 475 R. Kelly songs. Like I could sing that shit word for word. He has that many songs? R. Kelly's been around since, I believe I Can Fly was in like 1993. <laughs> no, but I didn't realize that he was like active, really. R. Kelly? He's a creep. See, that's why that's why it's <laughs> fucked up. And that's why it's it's a good question for this R. Kelly talk. Uh, but you're always, like, you're very... Because R. Kelly was R. my Kelly. guy. Like, he was my guy. And, oh, and we talked about pimps before. Like, this is where this is where maybe I can explain it. And I'm not saying it's okay. And as far as him and Aaliyah, I'm not speaking on that. That shit was creepy. Right. That shit is creep. That shit is wrong. Okay, if you 30... Like, but age ain't nothing but a number. He, but that's what's <laughs> fucked up. He wrote that shit. Like, that, if, listen, if she wrote it and those were her feelings, I would be like, hey, man, right. listen, she said, that's who she loved. Right. He wrote that shit. Like, that's why it's like, it's creepy. It's like manipulation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, that's why it's like, I don't know, bro, that's on the fence. Like, even if she does love you, like, you cutting it awfully close, my G. <laughs> so, R. Kelly, I don't. It's, I'm almost 30. I'm going to be... Well, I'm 29. But I just... For some reason, I've just been saying 30. Like, I don't have a long way to go until <laughs> August. But <laughs> but I'm almost 30. Like, how I felt at 21 about R. Kelly didn't process. Like, now that I'm a man, I'm like, damn. Like, I'll... Like, if... I'll... You know, you, you see women or whatever. I don't know. Like, But I can't even... My brain won't pr- let me process, like, sizing up a 19-year-old girl. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it doesn't compete. Sometimes, sometimes some shit just catches you, and you look, and you see it's a young girl, and I just keep it moving. You know what I mean? But for you to look at a young girl, like, damn, right. or like she gonna be bad when she gets older. Like, yeah. nigga, you're weird. That's, you know what yes, I'm saying? So, yes. as a man, I know if he was my man's, and that's the thing with R. Kelly, like, it, like the same shit with Drake. Like, I feel like at some point in the music, it speaks to you, it speaks for you. You know what I mean? If you really fuck with the artist, if you if you fuck with their body of work. So with R. Kelly, I felt like I agreed with him. But as I got older, like, my morals, like, wouldn't let me enjoy his music. Like, my morals, 
Like, you hear some shit. Like, the, the recent shit with the girls. Because you know more about it. Yeah, the recent shit with the girls, and he got them, like... They say they're held captive. Like, they could fucking... They, I mean, like, if... If they're locked in a if, basement. But if they, yeah, if they're locked in a basement. Like, the FBI, I'm sure they would have been on that. But, like, I saw, like, if they're on the gram smiling for pics and you have the one opportunity to run out of the house, like, ah, oh, he's after me, and you could get away, like, they would get away. Right. I, I'm yeah. not... And maybe that sounds fucked up, but they was on... One of them was on... I don't know her... Her name was, like, Savage something. She was on... She put up a video on... um On... on world star like yeah i'm fine my parent yeah her parents said she's held captive she said oh, yeah that's right like now nah, i'm good so and there might be emotionally i'm know, sure there i'm sure but, he uh, takes advantage of them like i'm r kelly don't you want to be with me but that's don't like you love the pimp me thing that's why i say is it illegal fine no is it morally fucked up yes yeah it, it, according to my standards right so my R. Kelly always was like the guy, the go-to guy to me for music. But like at this point in my life, I'm like, you so you're a weirdo, bro. Like, yeah. Because if you were my man's, I wouldn't, f- I couldn't have that around me. Yeah, like no. if my man, I saw, you know what's crazy? Also, I saw some shit with Irv Gotti. Irv Gotti's like forty. We'll just say he's forty plus, forty two. Okay. He was talking about his girl, talking about his girl. Like, yeah, they broke up. I loved her. She was mature for her age. Yada yada yada. Oh, and, he, no. and he was like, yeah, and she's twenty one. I'm like, nigga. Mature for her age. First of all, if you ever say that, that's a problem. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, er, like if you're 21 year old, if you got a 21 year old girlfriend, like She's the mature. fuck do you have in common? I'm 29, and I what are me and a 21 year old girl gonna have in common? Zach, what up? But um, nothing. Nothing exactly. So <laughs> yeah, I uh, my feeling on R. Kelly is like, I. I don't, I don't even feel the same about his music when it comes on. And don't, if Best of Both Worlds is like one of my favorite albums. So, like, when that shit comes on with him and Hove, like, that's the only thing I'm like, eh. But when that creepy shit comes on, I can't, like, Ignition, I still let ride. But I can't even a think of a song. Like, I can't even, uh, like, um,. I can't even think like feel it on your booty. Like if I if I have to start thinking about the fucked up sh- headlines I've seen, like I can't enjoy it at that that's, point. That's how like, I it feel becomes about weird. Kelly. Like it becomes creepy, and I just gotta go next song. So it ain't do nothing wrong, I guess. If I'm not the law, like I said, but as far as how I feel about R. Kelly now, like nah, that's a hard pass for me. Next question. All right. Um, hmm. I should have moved some other ones around too, but live and you learn. What exactly oh, do you want to check them off? Do you need a pen? You got yep, a pen over a there? Pen. Yep. What exactly do you do? And do you have any talents? That's wild offensive. <laughs> um what do I? <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I gotta stay up, stop saying I was fucking kidding, because I don't be joking. You're not kidding, right? I was. That was like, kind of like, what do I do? Like, if <laughs> I, you know what? That's probably. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. And I don't. I don't gas myself up. But like, that's probably someone who just didn't listen to the. Who doesn't listen to the podcast? I see, I have a lot of followers on Twitter or whatever. And, and I'm not saying I'm a podcaster. I don't mean that. But like, what do you do? Do you have any talents? Like, why do you have fucking followers on Twitter? So. I, you know what I feel like? Carrying a conversation is a talent. You talk, don't you know how many fucking stupid people you talk to yes. in your day? Yes. So being able to to carry a conversation and and when a dumb motherfucker looks at you and you I mean says something to you and you look at another smart person, like and they're like or look at another just regular human being and like, you hear this shit? Like, I feel like there's it takes I don't want to say talent, because I don't want to dilute it but it takes something to uh to carry a conversation and carry a podcast because i know how i feel about it and it would someone else say i'm talented i don't know but what i feel like my talent is is connecting with people and I, I, is that a talent i don't know but yeah I, I could say like I I'm I play football, but I don't I don't even feel like I feel like I'm good at football. I don't feel like I'm talented. Talented niggas go to the NFL. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't like maybe I don't have any. I can't juggle. Uh, yeah, I so, think your people skills are. I think yeah, my, I think my emotional intelligence is my is my talent. I think connecting with people, and it may not always translate on the podcast or Twitter. I don't know, but in my real life. Like connecting with people and 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 being a good person, I feel like is 
what I have to offer. Are you going to call that a talent? I don't know, but that's my answer to that. Okay. Next question. So the what exactly I like do you next do question, I'm podcast? Not lie. <laughs> oh, what do I do? I speak for the smart motherfuckers. And the dumb motherfuckers look at you like, huh? And the smart motherfuckers is like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so if you understand that, that's what I do. Next question. <laughs> um, explain your name. Oh, man. Uh, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into it, but it made me think about that video you showed me uh, on your time hop when I was like, Argh. uh, I'm the fucking king, you know, like, and I just, I explained it. That's why I wanted to play that clip. I heard a, I heard a guy explain, he was saying he he did he tried Molly and it made him feel what Jesus oh, felt. Oh, I do with, remember. Okay. Yeah, it made him feel what Jesus felt in connecting with people. And he felt like he just wanted to help them. He wanted to bring out their best in them. Right. I felt I, when I heard that, and it was before I put the Christ on the on you know as my as my handle before I heard that. When I heard right. that, I was like, oh, perfect. Like yes, you know what I mean. So my name. I've always been Bo. I'm a junior. So if my dad they called him fucking Axelrod, I would have just been Axelrod. Like it was just <laughs> what they call. It just it just came to me. I didn't pick it. It just happened. So it's fu- and then the, the king part. I used to tell like whoever you know, I used to just say it like don't swear to God, swear to me. Like I used to. So it all just it all just fit. Like it, it just was a combination. And and I'm looking across at my wife's neck. She has King Bo on her neck because I'm just a goat. So the Christ is for for new niggas. <laughs> Next question. Um. <laughs> Uh, this one you already answered. So do do you believe in God? I just should have linked those together. Um, but you answered it. I be- did I? Yeah, you said you believe to that. To follow we up are... there, I, I believe. What did I say? Go ahead. Um, like you believe that there is like something powerful sure. that we are. You know, like I believe. I don't know if I believe that there's a heaven or hell. I get that. Okay, I don't. I don't. And that's another thing, and I just said it. Big shout out to uh, Michael Trey, who was on the podcast. I just said it to him, like, I hate that it's, I believe in Jesus, I believe in Allah, I'm a Buddhist, right. I'm this, right. I'm that, I'm this, I'm atheist, I don't believe in anything. I, I hate that it's that. Like, we're here together. Right. You know, maybe God is in us, each of us. And that, that also ties back into the, the King Bo Christ. Like, if God is really in us, it's in, it's in me. Like, and it's a fucking name. Like, my name's Carlton. Right. right. Like, I'm, and I'm good with that. <laughs> but, but, you know, my life just worked how it worked. So I just went with what I went with. But right. in, a, in, a, in another world, I would have been Carlton. But to sum that up, I'll get back to that, I guess. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Maybe it's the weed, but it's Maybe the I it's say the, that to say right. this podcast. <laughs> so that's how I got to roll. But as far as God, it, I feel like it's it's in all of us. So we shouldn't, I don't want us to separate it. You know, right. like I believe that there is a God. I don't know what it is. It might be a woman too. It, 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 may, it may be, like, I don't know what, I don't know how, but we're here. And something's got to, and, and the, uh, you know what's crazy? And on like full moons, when I wake up feeling crazy, that's when I really feel like, yo, that I believe in like spirits or I believe in, like I said, I don't know if you go to heaven or hell. I don't, I don't know that, but I, I feel like in my heart of hearts, I feel like we get a second chance and I feel like you do live forever. Cause if you think about the, if you think about being alive, yeah, you're going to, you're going to need some more weed after this. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you, if you think about being alive, right, it's. It's amazing. Like it's it's fucking magical. I agree. But you know? it can be. You have to make it that way though. It's all about how you live. Like a lot of people are miserable and they're it's not amazing to them. True. But everybody has the potential to have an amazing life. Do they? Yes. But see You that's... may have to fight harder for it, but but we, since we were talking about God, like I feel like that's why I I don't want to say I don't like it because I don't I feel like I need four hours to explain this, but and I'm gonna try my best. But I feel like that's what makes me like the 
I feel like there is a God, but you can't put your faith in who you are and like, well, this is just God's will. This is what he wants me to be. Like, it can't happen that way. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there is a God and and prayer is great. Don't get me wrong. But you still got to go out there and do. Right. So when you ask me, do I believe in God? Yes. But and and, and you still have to create your own path. I, I And I, I always say, like, it's going to be what it's going to be. Because I feel like, you know what? If things are going to go my way, it's going to go. If it's not, then tomorrow's my day. What am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? But so, you still work hard for what you have. Sure, of course. But I, And I know, like, maybe someone would argue this, but me praying, like, oh, I pray this is going to happen. I pray this is going to happen. I pray I'm going to get a job. I'm, I pray I'm going to get a job. I pray I'm, I'm going to get a job. No one's going to come and say, hey, do you need a job? Like, you right. got to go out there and get it. Right. So when you do get it, if you want to thank God, Sure, that's your go for it. Knock yourself out, but you know I forget what I, what else I was going to add to that. But like, yeah, I believe in God, but you still have to put your own work in. Right. Next question. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying this podcast with you. I wish there I were want more you to questions. Know that. You wish there were more questions. Yeah. Is that it? No, it's not it. I'm just um trying to figure out which one I want to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do this one to light. Lovely and perfect. I do. I went live again. Lovely and perfect. Big shout out to you. I'm down here with my wife. She's co-hosting the podcast. We're taking questions. My wife wishes there were more questions. So feel free if you want your questions answered by me, the Internet OG, the ruler <laughs> of all I survey, the gray area investigator. The gray area investigator. I forgot about that. There's another one. But I can't. The seller of free game. My Periscope froze. That's because I'm in the basement and I ain't got no. I switched my phone back to prepaid because I'm rich and I ain't got no reception right now. <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's not even podcast talk. I it's actually not. did it. I'm not kidding. AT&T told me I could save $80 a month by switching. I didn't even know they did that anymore. Neither did I. That's why when they told me, I was like, yeah, do it. I don't give a fuck. And now you have zero reception. And now I got no reception. So <laughs> my bad about, uh, yeah, you take what you can get in this world. My bad about my reception. I mean, my, my, my periscope. Um, do you want me to go with a question or is she going to have a question? No, you okay. ask me a question. Okay. Um, do you think Nicki Minaj is top five female rappers? <laughs> oh, my God. I wanted to have this Nicki talk so bad. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm sorry. I got to go. I'm excited to hear. I'm sorry to the listeners on the podcast. I know you feel neglected, but I swear it'll, it's, it's worth it, isn't it? What do you think when you listen? Well, let me buy myself some time before I... I think you're good about keeping it moving. And... You, I feel like I've been good lately. I feel like I used to just not give a fuck. No, no. But I feel because no. I, I know lately myself, I've been watching the time. Like lately myself, like lately I've been <laughs> like literally staring at the time. Like okay, I got to move on. So I feel like I've been more conscious about like progressing the show. But I like as long as it's interesting. I like that it keeps going because I listen to it while I walk. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. I love you. I love you. But anywho, moving on. Do you want me to repeat the question? Repeat the question. Okay. I don't even know what we're talking about. This is why I can't smoke weed with you. <laughs> with me? I mean, you're not smoking weed, allegedly. I'm keeping the, you Lindsay's on track. Dog training is not affiliated with any <laughs> acts or any opinions expressed on this podcast. Um, do you think Nicki Minaj is top five female rappers? Oh. Nicki Lewinsky. You know what's crazy while I'm on the phone? I mean, while I'm on the phone. <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm doing what I do. I got a Google. Oh, wow. What? It's been a while since the I... Guest, uh... The guest is my lovely wife. MC Life. I got the real Mrs. McCrimmon on the, uh, on the podcast. <laughs> lovely and Perfect says hello. Hello, Lovely and Perfect. <laughs> but um, I had to just Google MC Life. To see if she's still active. That's old school, right? Like, okay, yeah. 47? Damn, she's almost fifty. Wow, that's amazing. She looks good too. Yeah, because. But um, so is. She looks like thirty-five. I know. 
black don't crack. I know. Is it? That's what I was going to say, but I, I know. <laughs> it's very uh, unfair. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to have Botox to look like that at 35. <laughs> hey, listen, it's the game. I had to, I really just went to Google MC Light because, you know, my top five, who's my top five? Let me, let me start. Let me, let me run off my top five. Okay. I know That's specific order one. in no specific order. So I'm going to throw Queen Latifah in there. Okay. Right. Since I see, this is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky because People don't want Drake in my top five because they say he don't write his raps. But like, what? No. Oh, but like, little Kim, like Big wrote a lot of little Kim shit. But I want yeah. little Kim in my top five. I have a hard, t- I have a hard time with little Kim now. Like, because it's just, different. It ruined it. I just for said me. the same thing about J Lo, and we gonna get back, we gonna get back to Nicki. But for in order for me to for, because I'm a slander Nicki, so in order for it to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta let you know where I'm coming from. So, <laughs> um, what we talking about? Uh, like with with little Kim, like it's the same shit. Like if if you on like I forget who I was talking about. I think I was talking about Nikki. Like I feel like Nikki's bars are the same since 2006. She sucks now. Like I used to like some of her old stuff, but I don't. I just heard some shit I she did with Uzi. Stand. I actually liked the, what she did with Uzi, but as far like even the motorsport, that verse was trash, and I, I don't want to compare it. But it was it was trash. Cardi B Cardi bodied B, the shit, yeah, right? She did. She so, did. and then it made her look even more lame. That's what got. I'm like Nick, you, Nikki, you were like, come on, you're supposed to said, be in the said, game for a while, right? They said that Nikki. They said, "Oh, lovely and perfect." Said, "Yes, take Nikki down." And I ain't even trying to slander Nikki. Oh, uh, little old me. Oh shit! I closed the phone. Little old me ain't nobody in this world but me. And I know I'm not taking any money out of her pocket, so that's why I can say what I want to say. But I feel like Nikki is like, it's the same. Like I don't. She's, I, I she's get it, done. but how much I gotta hear about how wet your pussy is oh, like that shit is annoying and, and you know me I'm a horny dog but as far as like like okay all in right. the car like god damn like alright <laughs> you told me that eight times in this verse splash, like okay, splash I'll get, get a straw <laughs> okay alright I get it god damn you know what I'm saying so like and, and, and the crazy shit is I fucking uh, the Nicki Minaj Save Me I fucking love that song I love that song she like, had some great songs on the album sure that was it and I don't even want to go into the uh, if Safari was writing her rap shit I'm just saying like oh, I forgot about that is Nicki what is the question again I forget is she in the top five female rappers I hope oh not. that was the question like, I think maybe... I still was talking about Little Kim also yeah I, oh, I was trying to get my top five. I forget where I was going with Little Kim. My bad, listeners. But I get so excited and I just start... My brain keep going and I forget I'm recording shit. But, um, like, if it was just me and you, we always circle around and we right, talk we for nine back. hours right. and come back to it. <laughs> but for the sake of the show, I'll, I'll move on with the point. I was trying to come up with my top five to answer if Nikki is in my top five before I slander her, just to bring everybody up to speed. I got to go... What? Well, and like I said, this is no specific order for everybody else, but Lauren Hill's number one to me. Oh yeah, Lauren sure. Hill count. That's bars. Like that, I don't know what that shit is like. It's hybrid. Like if don't and like I say, don't fucking say Drake and hip hop, and then say Lauren Hill is hip hop. And I'm not comparing the two, but I'm comparing the two. If you if you dig what I'm saying, so Lauren Hill, I'm gonna put Kim in there. I never really liked Foxy Brown, so I, I'm a wait. I'm a wild card that because I want to wait because I'm not sure if I want to throw in my top five. Uh, Missy Elliott. You said Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. Did I say MC Light again? No, no. MC Light. That's five. Uh, that's why I want to. I, I, I'm. I know I'm missing wild names right now. It's hard. But see, with all those said, would Nikki be in my top five? No. No. They like. I, I feel like I could name fifteen more if you just gave me another minute and I hit the weed again. But so when I name run off those names is are Nick is Nikki better than that? No. And now let me get to my Nikki slander. My problem with her is she's like, oh, the men in this industry, the men in this industry. Like, I give you just just do. If she didn't cry wolf, I swear to God I would have named her. And I would have argued why she should be in my why she should be top five. But she pulls that under undercard shit so much. And I'm like, see, then when I listen to your bars, I'm like, see, this is why. Like, 
Because you know why? I don't want to hear my favorite rapper talk about fucking bitches all the time. I don't. I do not want to hear it. At some point in my life, like when Wayne was like, saying what he was like Wayne was just going crazy and every song was about fucking bitches eating pussy but he just was creative about it and it was amazing but as far as like do I want to hear that shit now from him no Wayne's still Wayne's still in my top whatever like Wayne is one of the goats but like do I go check for little Wayne no like I'm on to different things right. so with Nikki I feel like it's the same old shit like and I see why she begged fucking uh Atlantic for for that little Uzi verse because like her and Uzi like meshed. I actually liked the song. It just it came out this week, I think. But they meshed. You know what I mean? They it just fit. The song was just it was cool. But and I think I was talking about Cardi B and, and the motorsport verse. But like on that, she didn't she didn't do shit. You know what I mean? Like she didn't she didn't impress me considering. Oh, that's what I was saying, actually. See, the, I'm sorry. I was saying all that to say. <laughs> <laughs> she. It was a big controversy, like, oh, Nicki didn't know Cardi was on the song. Right? So? Now, that mean, that mean, that's, well, that's what I'm just getting to. So if if you don't know, if you don't, like, there, there's legendary, like, Ludacris and T.I. are trending right now because they, I don't, they're trying to argue who's better. So there's people that, they battled in the same song. Like, Cannabis and LL, when LL spit some shit, then Cannabis spit his verse. LL heard it like, nah, I'm going back in the booth. I'm redoing mine. And in the competitive nature of hip hop, they go and redo verses after they, like, if me and you do a song, mm -hmm. and I go in like, she's my wife, like, what the fuck she possibly gonna do? Right. And I go and spit some bullshit, and you come in after me, and you bring bars, right. like, I'll be like, oh, shit. If I'm really a competitive you lyricist, go I'm going back in. Like, right. oh, not killing my wife, body me on this. It's crazy, <laughs> you know. See, so when that when that happens with Nikki and they compare her, she gets like, see, these male MCs, they don't want to let me. And I'm like, bitch, like, go ahead with that shit. You know what I mean? But I feel like you should bring your best game, no matter who's on the song. Like, if that's your craft, that's what you do for a living. Like, you should bring your best anytime. And that's the. I, I don't see some rap some people they treat it like a job some artist you know what I mean? some artists are really like oh, fuck I gotta go in the booth today like let me right. just give them this oh, you know, yeah. if it's about the money like it cause they, if you're trying to maintain a lifestyle like and you, they gonna give you 50 grand for a verse this is how it's gotta go you know what I mean like you, you'll go and and a guy like me calls you like yo can I get a verse for my mixtape and if, if I'm gonna give you 50 grand they look at it like a paycheck they don't yeah. look at it like I don't, why would like I want passion. to put my name on that you know what I mean but um so I was saying about about uh pardon me to the listeners about about Nicki Minaj like when they when they say that about her when they go you know oh nah I have to go back in there and like I gotta she looks at it like see they underestimate me cause I'm a woman and I'm like no like it's not like that like it's it's rap is just competitive. If you want to be among the best, to you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So, it's not that you're a woman. We don't like your verse. It's not like that. It's just like sometimes you don't like your verse. Uh, it, that happens to everybody. Is is every in every fucking uh, on every collab? Like we don't like somebody's verse. It happens. Yeah. I'm sorry. And then for her to bring up the monster verse was like that was fucking ten years ago. Like who? I forget what that shit even said. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and then and back to what I was saying about Nikki and Cardi. When I, I, Nikki was like, "Oh no, picture me not knowing who's on the song." Like I knew her verse was on the song, and I'm like, "See, if you knew her verse was on the song, and you felt you could spit better, you would have redid that." Because I think I, I was just like, "Eh," like yeah, it, it, was, it heard me, and it didn't I wasn't even compare. Yeah, I, I heard it, and I, I really wasn't impressed, but. And I, I was, I'm really hard on her because of the way she cries wolf. If she just, right. I, I promise, if she didn't go on fucking Twitter rants like Donald Trump, because <laughs> her and her fucking Trump supporters, like her, Nikki, I say some shit about Nikki on Twitter, and they be all in my mentions, and I'm like, nigga. And if they, would they have their fucking Nikki, Nikki Minaj as their icon as their as a background? And I, that's when I'm like, oh, it's, oh, it's one of them. Like if I click on it, like fuck you say, and I click on it, and I see that, and I'm like, oh, it's one of them. Never mind. I don't even bother because. If she didn't, they're like Trump supporters. If she oh, didn't yeah. do that Trump shit and cry wolf like everybody's picking on me, I'm doing so great. Look at me, I'm great. I'm great. You know what I mean? She'll be like, look what I've done. Boom, boom, boom. Look what I've done. And she'll be bringing up fucking weird ass BET awards and all some all types of other shit. And I've sold more than anybody. If you feel that way, 
don't cry don't cry victim just like don't it. cry wolf just rap just rap that's it end of story you know what I'm saying I hate to compare it to Cardi B but Cardi B is what's hot right now if you right. ask me who's hotter Nicki or Cardi Cardi no quite it wouldn't take me five seconds so I was to answer it and I was saying all that to say would I have Nicki Minaj in my top <laughs> five absolutely not next question <laughs> Welcome to episode 33 of the I Say That to Say This podcast with me, your host. Make sure you stream this on Title too. Before you, before you lay down tonight, I want you to open up your Spotify or your Title, or uh, well, first, if you if you go download the podcast because the downloads really count. But what, what our Heart Radio, whatever you're listening on, set it real low so you can still hear me, but you, enough so you can fall asleep and stream that shit all night long. So when I wake up, you buy me a bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> um, what's your stance on snitching? Oh, that's gonna be good. <laughs> uh, snitching. I was talking, I was talking to, I'm having a good time with you. Good. I was talking to a dude, this was like three years ago. It was a crip. I, I put it. I put it on my. I'm trying. To, I was trying to think of what Instagram post it was. You could see it on my in, on an Instagram post I had. It was a. Oh, it was a tax stone actually. I put up a video of tax stone like this past summer. Okay. But I was talking to him. I just happened to think about it because that was the last like time I've really expressed myself on snitching like in front of people, and we had a real discussion about it. Okay. And they told me I was bugging, but I feel like if you ask those same people now, they'd say I was right. But I have my my stance has been the same. But I was talking to this dude, right? He was like, "Yeah, I'm in the car with my man. We get pulled over, and um, he he had a gun in the car, and he was like, yeah, he had a felony. So if he caught if he if it was his gun, I mean, if they knew if they caught him with the gun, he was going away for we'll say eight years. Just for I don't remember exactly what he said, but right. he said a fuck of a long time, longer than I was like, ah! so <laughs> so like. Eight years longer than I could have done. Right. So when he said it, I was like, Jesus. And he was like, yeah, so I took the shit, you know, because I only had to do two years or some shit. He was like, nine months for the whatever, some shit. He was like, so I, it was eight years of him, me, two years. And I was like, wait, you did it? And he was like, yeah. I was just like, nah, my G. And he was like, what was I sp-? But he was like, um, what was I supposed to do? He, you know, he didn't really say nothing. So... Like we, he just said, yo, I can't go. And he like he broke it down, like yo, it's in the car, and whatever. So if they search us, he didn't really say like, I'm gonna say it's mine. You're like you say it's yours, but he, but he didn't. When they were like, who's is this? He didn't say anything. You know what I'm saying? So when he said that, I'm like, shit, I would have told him. Oh no, that's also I I, I have a uh, a video of me and Nate when I'm like. Yo, bro, we get caught. I'm snitching. Like, come out from under the car. They got us, oh, bro. Oh, I remember like, that. I remember that. <laughs> like, that, I'm going to get into that in a second. Like, that snitching. Like, come out from under the car, bro. Like, if you rob a fucking bank with somebody and you go left and they go right and they get caught and you're running with the money and they're like, it was just me and my friend, I swear. Like, <laughs> that snitching. But as far as if I'm in the car with you, I'm not going to jail, bro. Like, if this is your, <laughs> if this is your gun and the police pull us over, and is in the car with us. Listen, some weed. I would be like, nigga, if you don't tell him. Like I would say, like, <laughs> but like I'm like what, and I don't consider that snitching. That's just like it's weed. Dude. You're gonna get a ticket. Like I'm right. like, nigga, you're not giving me a ticket. Like I've taken a tent ticket for a girl. Like because I was just like I wanted to be like this ain't even my car, my G. Right. Like I really wanted to say that, but I felt like that was snitching. But it was just different. But like it was just it didn't matter. I was just like, depends All right, on the fucking situation. ticket, right? But if it's going to jail, I feel like. To be like, mm, no, nah, I don't know, bro. You could dust that shit for Prince. Like, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Listen, bro, do your job, bro. Like, I don't feel like that snitching. And I know that's stupid. Not stupid, but I know that seemed, that would be like frowned upon with some street niggas, but I don't know. Like, You're supposed to just take it. Yeah, so snitching is else? like, what's my, I don't, snitching ain't, it, there is no code. Like, snitching don't exist. Snitching is not real. Like, snitching is... Because... Look at all the dudes facing fucking 45 years. They're either telling or they're not. But either way, they're losing out on their families. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let me, we talked about life. We talked about God. We touched on it a little bit. You only get one shot at this shit. 
I am not spending that shit in 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 an eight by ten for ten years. You can fucking forget it. So, if especially me, for someone else's right. And crime. I talked about the bank shit. If me and someone decided to, I just said rob a bank because what else do you snitch on? Like I don't know. Right. Or or you know what snitching is like. What when I say snitching is wrong, is like say I was down here smoking weed, right? And someone was like, hey, I think they're smoking. They smoking pot in that basement. I just want you to know that. Like yeah. I think that's snitching yes. and that's fucking terrible. And and the police should look at you like, won't you mind your fucking business? And they should book you for thirty days for doing that. But what? Or if you get in trouble and you're like, oh, I have something to tell you. Right. Yeah, oh like, yeah, that And then too. you'd snitch That's on somebody else. Right. So if I get pulled if the if I get pulled over with weed in my car You're like, but I know like, somebody oh, oh, oh. I can give you the I person that gave it to me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my weed dealer. He has a lot. Right. Like that snitching and then yeah, the police should wrong. be like, Look at you acting like a bitch. Right. You know what, we're taking you to jail anyway. And we telling you, man, you did that. You know, but that's only for that's why it's different. It's i could go on for snitch, on and on about snitching and I don't wanna I feel like I'm just rambling, but <laughs> Like it's, but it's, it's like tricky, that. that yeah. yeah, it's so tricky because it's like you just said. Like that's there's different levels of snitching. That's different. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's that's just different. And like I was saying, like if 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 I if I own up to my shit. So if I decided to fucking rob a bank with someone, and me and them got caught, who is it for me to tell? Like, how could I go and give up my drug dealer friends? That's fucked up. Like, that's wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's snitching. And yeah. my feelings on that is like, like I said, I can't send anybody. Who the f- what the fuck am I going to do? But I, my feelings on it is like, that's just morally fucked up. Cause, so now you're both doing time and now what? Like, do you right. feel fucking better about yourself? Because right. you didn't mind your business? Right. And, and I feel like it, that that's more just the law. Like, that's taking advantage of what they have to offer you. So, like, snitching is more like... I look at it like it's fucked up on the government. Like, how could you know what people are gonna do? You put them in that situation, yeah. like you know. Yeah, so short my time, yes. But am I mad at like? Oh, that's what I was saying. Also, like, am I am I mad at someone, a civilian? Like, if like if I don't know if you know somebody's doing some shit illegal next door and you and you mind your business. I mean, like, and you're a fifty five year old teacher who doesn't bother anybody, right. and you feel like you you do want to call the cops. Like, I'm, is it annoying? Yes. Am I mad at you? Are you a snitch? No, you're just a nosy bitch and you right. should mind your business. Right. You know what I mean? So snitching is very tricky, but I'm sure I ramble on enough for you to get your, your answer about that. On, on, on not minding your fucking business. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Oh, was I supposed to say it? Yeah, I have to wait for that. That's My like bad. the cue. My bad. Um, I got you. Do you Next ha- fucking question. Jesus. Do you have proof that the information oh, this one's really um, <laughs> do you have proof that the information you talk about is true I guess proof of the information you talk about or do you just say anything <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> uh, you know what I say what I say because I speak always from personal experience I speak from life experience so I don't I think when when you ask me, do I have proof? I I I, I think I actually answer that kind of. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can, my proof is in my words. You can go back and look at episode one from episode one on. Everything I said, you I, I clarify that it's from personal experience and life experience. Like, I, I do I talk a lot? Can I ramble? Absolutely, but it's from my. Fe- I'm just giving you right. my feelings. Yeah, it's as like they opinions, come. not sure. like if you if it's a fact that you you look it up and make sure it's right or ask somebody or talk to somebody yeah. that wow, knows that's the like truth. I, just, I fucking googled MC Light. I just right. like hold on. Like you were talking about, you sure. don't want to talk about religion because you haven't read the Bible. Like you're just making sure that you're you make sure, sure. that you know, you know if you need to. What I don't know. I, I probably should. Like that's why I should have included fucking at names so people can just like I, we could actually if I if I missed the point because. A guy mentioned, he was like, I put up Hennessy and fucking Sprite. And he was like, oh, where's the Coke? And I was like, that's out of my league. And he was like, I meant Coca-Cola. And I was like, oh, my, it's Twitter, nigga. I didn't know. So I took it the, like, totally, I totally missed it. So but maybe if I'm missing Coca-Cola it, I like to ask Coca-Cola is also them. out of your league, so. That too, but, but I was saying that to be like, maybe I, I, we were reading it wrong or maybe they didn't, we're interpreting it wrong. They didn't mean it like that. But right. uh, I don't, I don't. Like I wouldn't say like oh seventy five men and fifth in two thousand fifteen were convicted of gun charges and then tell my story like I don't fuck the stats. Well, maybe they're talking about 
I mean, they say you talk. So maybe they're talking about your Twitter, but it's the same thing. It's like your opinion and everything, life. Right? Yeah, everything. And, and, and I'll say, like, don't quote me on some shit that I'm not sure about. Or right. I'll just, you know, so every, do I have proof? Yeah, because my life. Yeah. Everything that I tell you, if you ask me why I feel that way, Going back, like, as far as whatever, I can give you a prime example on why I feel that way. So, would I consider that proof? Sure. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> All right. This is the last question. Final question? Yeah. Oh, man. That's I know. Sad. See, that's why I said I wish there were more questions. I'm not have... sure. We got plenty of wine, too. This is, this is, all. this is, a... maybe somebody can ask more questions. Um, what's different about your podcast that separates you from other podcasts? Uh, you know what's crazy about that? I just had this talk with uh, Harrison last night, and I can't. Sorry, I can't give details on exactly what he was telling me, but um, like what, his like, opinion on it? No, no. He said he said something, and he was like, "I'm gonna, I'm, ju- I'm gonna just use it, so I'll know." I, I want to quote him. In rap fashion, done. Yeah, I want to quote him in rap fashion and not uh, not infringe on his bars. But so to answer, what was the fucking question again? So I can just make it fluid. But I'm just telling you where it comes from. I just want to cite my sources, give fucking proof on why I got it. <laughs> and I say that to say this. Go ahead. What's different about your podcast that separates you from other podcasts? In the words of of Harrison, that's like describing the color blue to a blind person. Like what's different from my podcast? It's just it's just different. You know if you what I'm don't saying? know, then I I can't. Ex- what I feel like I bring to my podcast is just life experience. And and like the guy said before, like, do you have? Do I have um, proof? Like, I got my life. It's only one me. So what's different from my podcast from anyone else is no, I'm not on anybody else's podcast. I'm on mine. So. Every, everyone should start a fucking podcast. Maybe we get more understanding. I know one difference about your podcast. Oh, shit. Go ahead. No, no. It's something, like, trivial. Well, it depends on... I like, don't know for me, it's means. not trivial. What does that mean? It means, like, petty. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you don't eat on your podcast. Uh, but I, I'm rolling up weed as we fucking record this. Okay, but you don't eat on your podcast. Like... That I can't imagine. Like when you play, is this, me, is this a uh, consumer complaint? This is awesome. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I don't because you know I'm like highly annoyed by people like eating and chewing and swallowing. Pause. Pause. But, <laughs> but like it, you let me listen to like a couple a couple different episodes of that. I don't even know which one it is because I don't. Brilliant remember. idiots. Yes. This and motherfucker he, Charlemagne was chewing, chewing ice. ice. That's some like, shit. Like what? I'm like my G. I can't. You don't care about us, bro. Yeah. Like, like <laughs> and you're you're very thoughtful about like you go all the way with it. Like you are very thoughtful about it's because you take pride in what you do. Like that's what separates you as a person from other people. Like you're willing to work at it. Oh, but you're thank you. willing to like I appreciate that. Maybe that question was meant for you. I'm glad you were here. Please keep going. <laughs> but but I'm not like I don't listen to other podcasts. You're the first podcast I've listened to. But like even, I, gotta I know your podcast cherry. I know how. it's important. Let me tell you something. You know what's different about my podcast? This because I drop gems on niggas. It's important <laughs> to be your wife's first at, at, at as much shit as you can. Like you you guys meet women, you can't meet women, and they've done it all. That shit sucks. As a, I'm telling you, like I know, I get it. I, I wish there was more questions about relationships in there because I would love to. That's really more. That's why I wanted to do the lovers podcast because I like those relationship and sex questions. Yeah. But yeah, like what's different to my podcast? I don't have a genre. I'm the 21 Savage of podcast, my nigga. I'm gonna just say whatever. Like it's just coming out. You know what I'm saying? So like my in my podcast, I treat it like my diary. I treat it like I treat it. To, to also tell you like a little to get personal about it like this shit is really for me like the the, the KBC episode that I want to drop on Thanksgiving I feel like I missed the Thanksgiving I've always said that like the best shit happens to me in the fall like I met my wife during the fall you know we got married during the fall so what I like 
my podcast is more my diary and my story. I don't, I said I give opinions on other shit, but like I said, it's all from life experience. Right. Like you asked me about, they asked me about R. Kelly. Like I'm telling, R. Kelly was my guy. You know what I'm saying? He, it's like the my personal life experience, and you're not obviously going to get that anywhere else. Well, and you care about what you're like. You do episodes on things that you think people want to know. Oh right, that was another thing. And to like answer, you know, like for, (laughs) you know, for the listeners, that's what you you make sure to focus on them, and also care about their feelings and not chewing in their ear. Because I couldn't listen to you if you did that. I really if I chewed. No, could not. I mean, not. listen, that's the thing. Like, what would you do that on? When you talk to... I don't talk to other people with food in my mouth. Like, I don't... I just don't... Well, you sometimes, but that's different. But... But people do. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just... It's rude. But you... That's, you care. Like, all the way through. And I know that that's, like, a trivial thing to most people, but that drives me crazy. That would end it for me. Like, even if I was totally all in on a podcast, if somebody started, started eating... eating it's over? Done. Wow. Done. Done. Like five seconds of it, and I would never, I would never want to hear their voice again. Really? Yes. Wow. Absolutely. That's crazy. And I feel like I'm not the only one either. Uh, uh, there's other. No, people. I, under, I definitely understand that. Because it annoys you. I mean, what do you? But it doesn't do? annoy you as much as it annoys me. Like that's why I feel. I feel like all right. I'll just not listen to this. Right. I can't. It ruins it for me. Like it just ruins it. Because it's uh, rude. Like, just think about people. Nobody cares. I'm going to, right now I'm going to... Cosmo. A a a podcast secret that my wife just told you. Sorry. No, I don't care. (laughs) I forget what else I was going to say about about why my podcast is different. So, all right, listeners. (laughs) We got an extended list of questions. Now, now, are we gonna? Are you gonna make this personal, or are you gonna make it like, what do you? Because th- I, I saw the first question. Right. It said, it said, and I, I'll, I won't look at it anymore. I promise. But the, it said, um, what do you? What did you think on our first date? Are you gonna ask? That was actually the second question. But oh, well, that's what I saw. What are you gonna ask? Like, what did I think on our first date, or what do you normally think on first dates? I don't know. What do you think? I want to keep it general. I don't want to keep it. Because, you know... But it, th- then we're going to have to skip some of these questions. All right. So we'll get into these. We'll keep it... God general. Damn it. Like, okay. So it only shows one, so you'll have to scroll up. Um, what movie was so sad that you will... That you could never watch it again? <laughs> uh, the Lion King. Really? Yeah, I know. Okay. Cuz I want to watch it, but I just can't I just never bring myself to it. It's the it's the weirdest thing. So I'm trying to think like If you would have asked me if you would ask me that 10 years ago, I would have been like Scarface. Or like Train Sad. But to tra- watch I can watch Training Day again. And now and Scarface again. But like if you would ask me then, I would have said that those cuz I was just like But now as I get older, I'm like they had that shit coming. Like, but what's sad to me is Lion King. Like, I'm like, he didn't deserve that. Like, so, <laughs> so, so, uh, Lion King. Lion King. Okay. Um, what are the two biggest lessons you've learned from previous relationships? Uh, use condoms <laughs> and, uh, be honest. That's, that's two really good ones. People should like listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I don't I just know what I know. What would be the absolute perfect day? Uh midnight in Alaska with my wife. Um, like pl- like mini golfing in August and it's like eighty six degrees and I'm wearing this exact fucking outfit. <laughs> And I had Bel Air Rosé. And we just ate Five Guys fries with um, the chicken wings from... uh, Boulder Creek. Boulder Creek, right, exactly. 
And that morning I had the perfect bacon, sausage, egg, and cheese. And a decaf coffee. And a decaf coffee. With sweet and hazelnut. Just like you. (laughs) All right. What did you learn a little too late? Use condoms. I knew that was (laughs) good. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to scroll. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what gross and unhygienic things do people do that bothers you? Uh, I feel like I have a good one, but I, I feel like I can't think of it right now. I feel like when it happens to me, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking freak the fuck out. But licking fingers, you hate that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, like, people not watch, like, don't touch me. Like, when people touch, I think it's your hands. Like, nigga, where have your hands been? So, I, yeah, yeah. If, you, if it didn't happen to me, I wouldn't have, like, I think about, like, blowing your nose in public is annoying, but right. it, don't, it doesn't bother right. me. I think just touching. Like, don't fucking touch people. Keep your hands in your pockets, my G. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and even shaking hands, you know, shaking hands also. Like, yeah. can we can we transition to fist bump at this point? Because mad old white niggas that like shaking hands be doing weird shit. So, <laughs> we true. need to transition to, to fist bump. And I know, like, I was with on the podcast and then he told me that he like he, he was like um yeah like i watch um i watch the intro to porn before i jerk off and i'm like actually like i don't even want to dap niggas no more like <laughs> <laughs> like i started to think like yo people do weird shit with their hands like yeah. hmm it's gross and so i think like maybe maybe to pinpoint it like shaking hands high p- high-fiving like i think that shit is it's ran its course like it's 2017 let's salute niggas from across the street <laughs> <laughs> and keep it moving. Next question. <laughs> um, what habit do you have you think not many other people have? What habit do I have? Mm-hmm. That you think other people, not many other people have. Uh, isn't a habit bad? Not Like, I feel like a... No. Okay. Like, you know, some people are in a habit of taking a shower in the morning. I, fe- people... I feel like what... Ha- What's the question again? Because I think I got the perfect answer, but I just want to make sure I'm not. What habit? This isn't do you a bow think? moment that I'm saying some shit that I want to say <laughs> instead of what I heard. I'm just trying to keep it. I'm trying to not be a narcissist. Stay on task. Right. What habit do you have that you think not many other people have? Okay, so I w- thinking about everything I've done every like once a day, every day. I think it's. F- that's why I say it. That's why I wanted to get it right. Because sometimes that shit is a gift and a curse. Like, that's yeah. why I don't be getting over shit. Because <laughs> because I really... I, I, at some point, if good or bad, for better or for worse, I'm going to think about that shit in my day. Like, I, I I don't know. And it's not it's not good, but it's a, really a bad habit. Yeah. Like, it's... I, I, I want to call like it a bad habit. Because the good, that's why I could be but, so positive if I, if I channel it right. Right. If I channel right. it right... I, I could have the best morning ever. Right. But if I wake, if I get off to that bad start, I feel like it fucking drives my day to shit. So and that's... You just relive things. Right. For no reason. Right. And I, some shit that happened six years ago, I just, you know, decide that like, I'm mad about today, actually. Like, I was over it yesterday, but you know what? Today, that fucking pissed me off. And if I see you, you're going to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's... <laughs> That's one thing. I, I de- no, but I feel like nobody does that shit. I, f- no. I, I feel like I'm a sicko because you are. Niggas be like, you remember that? Like, yes, actually. And today I want to fucking tell you about it. Right. Like, <laughs> it's been bothering me. It's been me. bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> For the last 10 years. Okay. Uh, that's it. Um, what habits do you have that annoy other people? Drinking on the podcast, maybe. That's just me. Oh, that's just my wife. <laughs> uh... Um, that's it's good that my wife is here hosting the podcast, and this is awesome because now you can know that I know that this is prob this is definitely annoying. I always leave, I leave my socks around. Like, oh god, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, but I picked them up for the most part. Like after a couple of days, when I realized, like, oh, she hasn't moved them. She must have <laughs> not. She must be pissed. one strike. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be like, oh shit, damn. You know what? That was me. Like that to get personal with it. But um, I hate your socks. I really hate your socks. I, to, for the listeners, so you know, I change socks like two, six times a day, and they're all different. Every sock is like different. So there's like a bit, you know, if they were all, and I get that that may seem easier. <laughs> it's not easier. <laughs> we're going into a real deep discussion. I know this socks. is getting good. I but, was going to stop us, but now <laughs> fuck it. Tell me about. Tell me how you feel. But your socks are annoying. You have like 
two hundred pairs of socks. Because you all need different. socks, my G. Didn't but you if see they were all the same, they would all go together. Like I could just go through it. But I have to like lay them out on the bed. We've actually, it is a long. I'm glad this is happening for the <laughs> listeners' sake. I don't even want the shit to sound personal because I'm about to give you. This, I'm about to break it down. If you have all different socks, it should be easier to put no, them together. No, because you have like, so many, it takes forever to lay them all out. Keeper, what up? It's Hello, literally child. the longest, most grueling task I ever. I despise it. I put it off, obviously, until the laundry basket is full, and then I'm like, fuck. All right, so, yeah, exactly. Uh, McKell and Kenny, he knows socks are needed. Like, you got to change socks it. six or seven times a day. It's just so, the 200 different socks. I think, see, that's why I want to move on with this, but it's easier. If no, I got it's fucking not. green socks, yellow socks, orange socks, how come one you don't put your socks up? Because we got gender roles. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> what do most people overestimate or underestimate about you? I feel like people un- underestimate you. Really? I don't think, I mean, I don't know. They I, overestimate you? Know, I no, I know. I feel like I. That's what I'm an asshole, but I feel like I just I just stay in the middle. Like I don't feel like I. They don't. Nobody's ever like, oh, man. I really thought he would come through. Like you yeah, always come through. What do, people probably don't realize how rich I am. Next question. <laughs> <Just scroll. laughs> uh, how often do you feel utterly worn down? Uh, it depends. It could be, it, like I talked about before. It could be, um... You go strong for, like, six days, and then you, like, crash. Right. What was the question again? How, yeah, that's what... Like, I, I'm on a weird... Like, I'm on, like, a, a cycle of the full moon. I feel like at a full moon, I'm, like, at my peak. Like, I, it's the fucking strangest things. What? It's, like, scary peak, though. I know. It's not like, a good I, peak. I fucking stay up. I can stay up for 46 hours. You it's, get weird... Like crazy. <laughs> but that yeah, but see after that, like I know after I stay up for fucking five straight days. But I get in a zone. Like I that's why it's like It's like genius crazy though, not but like like Thanksgiving also. Like Thanksgiving's coming. I feel like it's my it's Thanksgiving time. is my money run. Right. I came up with like the uh, my fucking best ideas yeah. around this time. Like just But after that I feel like how early I feel like I crash every six days and I go on a real like rock bottom, <laughs> like around like you March. Crash. When the when the weather changes, I'm like, I feel like a polar bear. Like I feel like I do have to. So it, it depends. Like I'm on a weird. You have a weird schedule. A weird schedule. So I crash when I feel like crashing. Right, and it's just random. Like I'd be like, all right, we're gonna watch. So then some, it's not random. Some Netflix when I tonight. Feel like crashing. Just saying. <laughs> but no I mean it's random but it it's when random. I let myself right. I, I know what you mean it's I'm random like, to me I want right okay I give you that and it's you know you don't even know when two more questions and I'm done okay um, let's do two more and then I'm gonna throw this one in there what's your jam oh party that next changes. door um, since way back well Drake and party next door since way back okay that one's been it for a while since that shit is smoking that song wow. is fucking smoking. But also, so I gotta get see every I think everything is my favorite. That Baca, like that um Louis <laughs> That's why I wanna call it my jet, cause that part yeah, next door is my I favorite said. song of all time. But my jam, I guess that's fun. Like that that <laughs> I live up to my name. Louis Louis uh pouch draped off my body. This is not for fashion. Are you kidding me? The nigga said, um, <laughs> I drink henny when I'm when I'm shooting at the range, so I know I'm. So if I'm tipsy, I still know I got my aim. That, that was, was ill. Like that was the, I was like, yo, I fuck with this dude. <laughs> that was what you were and, saying um, earlier today. And definitely that um, uh, that Tago pressure. Okay. And smoke with me and my bitch. That shit. That shit too. But uh, yeah. Okay. Those are my jams. I can't have one jam. No, you can't have. I'm a one serial jam. jammer. No. Like, you can't have a, see, that's why I be up all night. I start listening to a song and I get in that groove and I listen to an ill song and it puts me in such a fucking good mood. Like, how could you go to sleep? Okay. Some people get that shit in the club. I get that shit right here in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better. So my jam is like, my jam is a playlist jam. Like my jam is like, I got to mesh the, I got to mesh the vibe. It, 
to answer that. Next question. Lots of jams. Rambling. Lots of jams. Lots of jams. What was the best thing about how your parents raised you? The hard way. They raised me. They raised me to be like, it ain't gonna get done if you don't do it. <laughs> they raised me to be like, um, uh, what's the worst that could happen? Don't let it happen. They raised. They. Sh- what is the question again? <laughs> what What's was the best thing about, about how they were? Yeah, exactly. About how they were. Just to make sure. I didn't want it to seem like I was slandering my parents. Like, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like a backwards compliment. Like, just to make sure. But um, they raised me to be like, if you want it, go and do it yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? They And, and, and they raised me to know, like, it's, it's really on you. It's on, it's on you, your person, what you have to offer and what you what you get out of this life. Right. You know what I mean? And that's why like they used to bring me to church. And the weirdest shit is I feel like they're more religious now. Like I feel like they were just going then. But <laughs> well, maybe it was just me. <laughs> but they raised me that's why even with church, like they raised me to be like and I wonder at some point I was like, this is stupid, I'm not going. Right. And they and they was like, all right, cool. We ain't gonna do <laughs> 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 so they raised me to be like, you know what? We were trying to make sure that yeah, was ha- <laughs> they was we was making sure y'all was alright. Like <laughs> So they they raised me like I like how they I don't know, like reverse engineered failure. You know what I mean? They like kinda like let you do your own. Just thing. do just do your thing. And and it raised me to really be independent and and end of story. That, that's question. how I feel about my parents too. Like we got what we needed, sure. but like they Big always. Big shout out to my mom for never giving me spam. But go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> we had spam. We had everything Yo. we needed, and we also ate spam. <laughs> <laughs> and fried bologna sandwiches. No, first of all, that? fried bologna sandwiches oh, is lit. I can't. Don't let nobody slander fried bologna mm-hmm. sandwiches. Mm-mm. Okay. I can't. It's like a spam memory to me. Yo, what is that? Yo, you y'all niggas know I can't read. Uh, Mikhail, Mikhail and Kenny too. Big shout out to you. <laughs> I, people be having these Twitter. I'm dyslexic as a motherfucker. People be having these MCK. Like y'all, be, I could barely spell my own name. So y'all gotta chill. <laughs> I gotta put an underscore in that. Like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you said you definitely need to chill and, and get on the same vibe for the podcast. We this ain't even a podcast. This is my wife. I love her. We would have had this conversation without you guys if you want the truth. But I appreciate you tuning in. This is the last question. No, I'm in a good mood. Let's do okay. a couple. Man, right. I mean, maybe, yeah. Let me. Right, if it's good, I'll All right. So, what do you look forward to most about getting old? Drugs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just look kidding. at the picture. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. I gotta show the listeners. <laughs> oh, that's shit. great. That's hilarious. <laughs> In fact, that's what I enjoy the most. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. I'm looking forward to... <laughs> oh, he said, dude, no one knows how to prom- pronounce it. Oh, okay, good. Because I'll be feeling funny because I'm like, what the fuck does that say? That's <laughs> Michaelin? What is that? Okay. But you got to... But salute to you for being um, for being fucking uh, with, with original. Your last name ain't Johnson or some shit. It's, 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 it's original. Big shout out to you. But um, I'm sorry. I interrupted the question. You were talking about your parents. And big shout out to them. Oh, no, big no, shout out fine. to, um, we were on to- Red Donna being a vegan. I ain't going to slander you on the podcast, but I want to because my wife is here, but I ain't going to do it to you because I love you. (laughs) And you know what? My mother-in-law is the sweetest woman. I'm going to tell you because she got hit by a scammer in NYC. Welcome to New York City. But I'm going to tell you guys a real, some crazy shit. She got hit by a scammer. We went to pick her up from the airport, right? (laughs) Was it the airport? Uh, no, train station. Train, yeah, she, she, she was already in Manhattan. So we went to pick her from the train station. We picked her up. I hit the curb, but that's another story. They'll tell you that I did it by accident. But they probably purpose. don't remember. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> true. So she's like, oh, we this, the saddest thing. Uh, we saw this guy with a beagle. I just had to give him $20. I was like, you gave that motherfucker $20? <laughs> she was like, oh, like, what do you mean? She, she was like, he had a dog. I'm like, you could have gave that motherfucker $2 if you was feeling generous. Right. I'm like, me, I tipped the gas station attendant. I'm a, and I tipped my waitresses. I'm a good tipper. Yes, My wife are. is a good tipper. You she are. has good morals. She's a good tipper. 
niggas with dogs in Manhattan, I'm like, my G, give that shit away if you can't support it, bro. Like, I'm really like, but come on, my it. G. Like, you're using that dog. This is a, this is a scam. This is fucked up. You play, you know people love dogs and you're playing on their emotions. So anyway, she was like, I gave him, tw-. I'm like, you get this motherfucker $20. I'm telling you, I'm going to put this shit in the show link, in the, in the link. I said, yo, I know exactly who you gave it to. Yep. I fucking Googled uh, Guy with a Beagle. It was on, he was in the front of the fucking news day. I'm yep. like, this motherfucker lives on the Upper East, like 91st Street, making, <laughs> <a> making $200,000 <laughs> a year. Like, he, this guy is fine because of people like you right. giving him $20 every time you see him because he have, has a dog. Like, <laughs> The dog eats better than you. <laughs> the dog, yo, know, the fact, the dog eats ribeye steaks. Like, I don't even know how we got to this. I think I was just shouting out my mother-in-law, but I'm you just are. letting you know, like, there's good people out here in this world, so <laughs> I look forward to doing that when I get old. I don't know what this was about, but go ahead. Next question. All right. What is the biggest sign of weakness in a person? Hate. If you see somebody doing good and you're like, well... Some bullshit excuse that you come up with. If you see a motherfucker uh, buy a house, you're like, yeah, but nobody wants to be in debt. Or you see a motherfucker right. get a brand new Jaguar fresh off the lot, and you're like, yeah, but well. cars value depreciates immediately. <laughs> like, I think that's the biggest sign of weakness. That that's like, true. what is wrong with you? Go out there and do you, fam. Like, you know what I'm saying? My wife actually inspires me because she's so strong. Like, she, she really... She really goes out and does her, you know, like you owned your own business. And I was like, yo, that's ill. You know what I'm saying? Like that was that's no sign of weakness. That's how you know a strong person. A weak person would be if you wanted to do it and you sat out there like, yeah, but, you know, what's the chances about of it working? Right. Like, inse- I don't want to say insecurity. It I don't, is insecurity. No, nah, because <sighs> insecurity unhappiness. is like. It's unhappiness. Right. Unhappiness is, is the biggest. Un- being a motherfucker just, you know that, you know the vibe, you know the type. Loud as a motorbike, but wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. You know, that's the biggest sign of weakness. Next question. <laughs> What's something you tried really hard to like, but just couldn't? <laughs> My neighbors. Next question. Oh, I, I thought you were well, going to say being vegan. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, perfect. Yo, being vegan. Because you're right. Because you're absolutely right. Like, I realize, like, that's me. I just really, like, life and... I was trying to be funny for the sake right. of the fucking podcast and move on because I actually do hate them. But if you really want to know my real feelings, like, I really, really tried to be vegan. Like, I took it very serious. I don't take anything serious. And my wife no. was surprised at me. Because yes. normally I'm like, fuck this. This is stupid. I'm not doing this. Because right. I'm, I'm already thinking down the road, like, you know what? In a month from now, I'm going to be miserable anyway. So I might as well cut the cord in it now. But with being vegan, I actually tried. And you it, did. You did. You tried really hard. And that shit was whack. And like, I tried. But, you know, like, I wasn't experienced enough to know what to do about it. So, like, I, I get it. I get it. No, but you were good about it. Like, I did. I tried. I, I tried no, really hard. No, you, because yeah, you're good. But that's why I tried more because of you. Because, like, if you leave it up to me, like, you know <laughs> I want to bake and cheese. And like, <laughs> <laughs> immediately. Or off the rip. Like, <laughs> But um, I can't have pop tarts. Right, so I'm like, wait, hold on, my G. Like, wait, so the coffee's done? I was like, uh, that's uh, that's tough. Like, I don't know. I bought like eight different creamers. Yeah, but I tried. The point I know, was, I, I really, I was, I fucking shifted. I know, my, I turned my I know, life upside down. I, know. I was starving. I know, like, and that's why I was trying so hard because I was like, I've got to find stuff True. that he likes because he's trying so hard, and I knew how hard it was for true. you. That was a difficult. That's very so. true. Working out is easier than going vegan. Like, yes. If, like you could, you're better off. Like if you, if you if, hate working out, it's easier than going vegan. Exactly. If you fucking despise working out, <laughs> you better just start. Yeah. Don't try to don't <laughs> don't try to clean up your diet if you know you can't. Like, let me tell you, if you be, if you're if you're fat every eight months because you want to try to go to the gym, stop going to the gym, my G. Like, I mean, like. <laughs> I, I didn't want this to turn into slander, but I meant like, if you're going to try to clean up your diet, just quit. That shit ain't going to work. Like, <laughs> It's too hard. It's too hard. The world is too much temptation. It's way too hard. The only person I know that's good with their diet is Shelly. She drinks fake soda. That takes fucking... That's uh, That takes... You know how much commitment that takes? I always make fun of her. I'm like, she eats fucking... She did Weight Watchers. Oh. I, that's my, oh, see. I, I have listen, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, that did that. This just went south. I don't... I, 
as crazy <laughs> shit is, Shelly's probably like, oh, come on, bro. I, I know she probably doesn't care, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm telling you the one person I know with discipline. Cause I, and, and I'm a, st- I'm a big, I'm a shout out my mom, my mother-in-law right now again, cause she is going hard at it. She is. The crazy shit is, that's what makes it funny and that's why I made fun of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to end the podcast here with this rant, but I have to get this off about being vegan. <laughs> <laughs> she's going hard about it, and I, I am proud of her, and she's staying strong. But, but she's, she's just annoying. annoying. <laughs> she's annoying as hell. And I hated to turn this into a vegan rant, but well, I have vegan to get this Vegan people are off. annoying. Even though I want to be vegan, like, shut up about yeah, vegan, it. Vegans are crazy. Like. Shut up. <laughs> It's like religious people. Just stop shoving yeah, it down exactly, my throat. Exactly. Let me get to it. I'm going to get to it. But you're making me not want to get to it. That's hilarious. But I had to just, I had to shout that out there because I'm going to, I'm going to wrap up that point. But Shelly fucking eats uh, cantaloupe and yogurt every morning. Oh, God. And I eat bacon, egg, and cheese. And it just used to fucking, her commitment used to annoy me because I'm like, <laughs> damn. Just give in. I'm like, you too good. <laughs> Like nobody's this good. You know? Like you have to be I'm having like, some Snickers I'm in good. the yeah, desk like, or something. Like, she got Kit Kats in the desk because of me. I put them there. Like I put the temptation in front of her, and she never folded. Uh, I'm telling you, I don't do that to people. That's but annoying. she was. So, you know me because yeah, I just yes. talked about being a hater. I was like a hater. Like <laughs> you can't. Nobody can be this good. Like and she. It's, like that's why I had to. Working out is easier, and I love because who doesn't love to eat. Nobody. Like, I I make her have bacon. She probably wouldn't even eat bacon. Like, you wouldn't even eat this. I put you in bad situations. <laughs> I didn't eat bacon before you for, like, 20 years. years. Yeah, like 25 <laughs> years. Something crazy. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> but, like, real shit. I, I know Shelly's like, well... <laughs> what was the point of telling people to own some Weight Watchers? I was just, I was like expressing. But she's disciplined. The, the discipline. Like, that shit is Most hard. Most people are not. And you don't have that in you. Being vegan is is hard. Like, that shit is a lifestyle. I, it, you know what's crazy? You know why I say that? Because I, and I said this was my diary, and I hate to go on this rant, but like, I feel like being vegan is going to be, it's like Scientology now. Like, that shit ain't even. Like <laughs> that shit. Like we doing this? How long we? Get, where's the thirty year vegans? Like I saw this thing where it said a man was ninety six years old. He was a ninety six year old vegetarian. He was vegetarian his whole life, and he was like, "How do you feel?" He was like, "It wasn't worth it." And I was like, "Yo, OG, I take your word for it." Like he said I, that. I could find it. I don't know. It may I have trust been, you. I don't know if it was fake news. I don't know what I know. I'm gonna look it up for the sake of the podcast. I feel like it was probably not fake news. Like you know your stuff. No. Like you wouldn't you're just, say you just my wife and you're supportive no no you uh, know what you're talking about hold on veg. that's crazy but I feel like I know I can't spell I rely on it's uh, ved I rely on autocorrect okay it's E there he is oh I made oh and he's a doctor <laughs> oh wait are you sure he said something negative I feel like he said something positive who this guy yeah oh I'm not sure but that's the guy like that's him oh he died uh, see, eat bacon. Like that's my whole point. Like, <laughs> no, oh, that's it. He had been a hundred-year-old vegan heart surgeon, retired at ninety-five. Regrets. There you go. That's he looks dude. angry. He's he's a fucking vegetarian. He looks pissed. The other guy was vegan. He never ate sausage, bacon, black pudding. Black. Apart from one, what one off what one off fried baked breakfast. Where are you reading? Here. Oh. What is black pudding? I'll, what is a one fried... <laughs> one off fried One off fried breakfast. breakfast. What the fuck is that? Was this... Is this in another country? <laughs> it sounds like something in <laughs> See, England. See, I said I didn't know if this shit was fake news. the UK? Oh, it is. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, what does that even mean? Why I'm no longer vegan. He quit. Anyway, make a long story short. I don't even know what the story was at this point. It was, I mean, what, the what's the hardest thing, something that you had to quit or? Going vegan. Yeah. I said it was some other shit, but it wasn't that. It wasn't your neighbor. As I something always that say, you tried really hard for. Thank you for coming on the podcast. You're welcome. I appreciate anytime. you reading questions. And I, um, I love you. I love you. Listeners, find somebody you love. The end. Wait, no. There's more. <laughs> I have to ask, 
I never see because I'm an asshole and I'm selfish. Is there anything you'd like to say on the podcast? Like, <laughs> oh, did you? No. Did you get your like? What would you like to leave the listeners with? Like, what do you want to tell them? Oh no. I, I want to. I'm I'm but, curious, but and I want it on the record. I don't know. You don't know what you want to tell the listeners. I feel like like you tell. Like them. if you had, if you had one thing that you feel like you can offer to people. Oh, like about me or about you? Because no, I was thinking about you. Don't you make everything about me? That's why I forgot <laughs> to. Uh... <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Say what you were going to say. About you? Yeah. To listen to what you say, because you know what you're talking about. And you're always right. And I know that you say that, and you but say it as like a think, joke kind they could of just thing. Say, they could think you're saying that because I'm your I'm your husband. But I'm not. I could. This could be a paid sponsorship, and we could. We, this could be like a Hillary Clinton moment. This could moment. be, but you haven't... We're not doing that, so this okay. is real. This is my opinion. And I've seen it. Like, it's... It always comes around. You so, know why? Because I fucking think about everything I know. that ever happens to me in my life, like, and I give, I, I you pay attention. I, yeah, like, but I off emotions, and I never forget. Right. You're so like with you, when I tell you things, that, that see, this is also another reason why I wanted. This is the King Bo Christ episode, the episode to explain me, the episode to catch people up to speed, you know, and that's why I wanted people's questions, right? And I wanted. Uh, I wanted you to host it, you know what I mean? Because I said in the beginning, like, uh, you and and Shelly. And that's why I brought up Shelly, because I, I, like, it would have been my a dream podcast for you, Shelly, and my mom to be here. Like, the three people that... And I know there's people that, um, like, I know there's friends or whoever would be like, oh, damn, like, everyone knows something. But right. the three of you know every possible thing there is to know about me. I mean, especially you. That's why you hosting it is perfect, you know, to to to, to break things, to kick things right. off. But it was supposed to be so people really catch up to speed. I wanted to come out on Thanksgiving, the day that means a lot to me, other than our anniversary, and 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 everything just be right. So don't don't feel like you like uh, me. Giving them me, I have to give them you also because you, you're you're a big part of me. So I want to know. That's why I had to stop myself. Like you know what? Okay. Like maybe they'll understand. It, it, like we joke. I joked about it, but actually I could bring it up. You said something. You're like, oh, oh, with the socks. Like why don't you do it? And I was like, because we got gender roles. Next question. <laughs> but that was like it was funny, but it's real. Like we yeah. really have gender roles. Yeah. But I don't mean it to be a dick because. I always, and I always give this example when I talk to people, and I that I say some shit like that, and women are like, "That's ridiculous." And I'm like, "Hold on, goddamn it!" When it snows, shoveling. Like- <laughs> snow shoveling. I went out there to try to do it for like three minutes after, and I was like, "Nope, he can have this. I'll do whatever, whatever I have to do for him to do the snow shoveling." Because that was awful. I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine. <laughs> And I am not lazy by no, any no, no, means, but, but by no means, right? No. And you know why it's more funny because that I'm, that's always my example. It's always I'm like, well, listen, when it snows, and a part of why it's also crazy is because you're from Florida. Yeah. You're not from New York. No. You don't fucking. De- you never dealt with blizzards. No. I feel like uh, New York people forget the value of the person who shovels I, the person who shovels goes so overlooked in the household like <laughs> i can't even imagine i'm telling you so you being from florida so we are remember our first storm you were like what the fuck <laughs> i'm like i forget i forget what like february 2015 right yeah that was a rough winter. it was yeah but God. i remember the first one i'm like <laughs> You think that's something like it was like three inches, like, and she was like, "What? You were walking, you were all slippery," and I was like, "What the fuck?" I, I really, I forgot. Like, wow, you know what? No this idea. Shit isn't, yeah, this is new to her. Like, huh? But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I, I'm not saying I, I really care about shoveling this much, but I was just going off on a rant. Like, I forgot. Like, oh yeah, you know what? Like, that is pretty big. Like, that's leverage. Like. <laughs> 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 like, you know, like I really was like, wow, you know, shoveling. I always, because like, I, I would be like, I'm, 
I used to, I stopped showing my grandma's house after that. Like, you know what? Driving over there, I don't think I'm getting the fucking credit I deserve. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the credit that you deserve. Like, you Shoveling is awful. That's a good point. You know what? Shoveling, I'm like, that my fucking back be killing you for three days if you don't have a fucking snowblower. I went and got a, I got a snowblower after that shit. Like, hold on. that that's, The snowblower came after that. Like, yep. hmm. I'm like, you know what? That is actually a lot it's of my awful. fucking problems in the it's winter. It's awful. I be thinking that shit is football. No, it's the goddamn snow. <laughs> All right. So... I think that people should know, like, to live their life for them. You know, like, if you're unhappy, like, do something about it. And if you want something, like, go for it. Like, I feel like too many people, um, like, just live a sedentary lifestyle. And they, you know, pretend that they're happy and they're not happy. And I feel like people should know to go out and get it. Everybody deserves to be happy. Like, if you're unhappy, do something about it. True. I, I totally agree. And, and you know, I could say on on your part, like, you really live to that code. And that's why I knew I, I could marry you. You know, because you have to find someone who really... In order for me to, like, really focus on, like, being happy and, and, and have that... Be, be true to that vision you have to be in love with somebody that feels the same way you can't like look being the the rock in your relationship that should come with and we talked about gender roles but that should that should come with uh you know it's 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 okay i i, I don't want to bash it and i don't want to make it like our relationship to be the standard because I, right. I don't want to sound like that but being the rock in your relationship is cool but you should definitely go and like find someone who agrees with not necessarily your beliefs but your vision right like I think that's more important and supports you right if, you're, if your vision as in a sense of we, we talked about earlier like what do you look forward to when you're getting old like just being happy, no? Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. That's what life's all about. You know, like, happy. what's your perfect day? Like, in order to really uh, find that, you have to, you can't have a negative energy around you. No. And you got to realize that maybe the person you live in the house with, like, you, you make sure that energy is good also. Yes. Like, you look, as you're looking at your job and you're looking at everyone else, like, you have to look at the person that you sleep with at night also. Right. You have to really, you can't, you can't fucking rely on just yeah you, know, you can't rely on yourself all the time because i know myself like i sometimes want to be that person like i got it don't worry you know what i mean like right but i know that i i, I can always come to you and i could always rely on you even though i but i like doing it because i'm like let me quarterback this lens right. i got this <laughs> but sometimes i know like all right, I'm out of steam here. Right. I'm going to hand this one off right. to you. Like, right. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what makes it great. Like, you know what I'm saying? That what makes, that's what makes it like, that's what makes it worth it. So I was saying all that to say you, you, you're, you're absolutely right when you, you, you can almost answer a question for me. And I, I think that's amazing. You know, that's why this episode really meant a lot to me to be like, you know, sometimes I don't have, like, if you ask me my, like, what's your favorite food? I'm like, you know, I kind of just bark orders and she fucking, like, not, <laughs> not bark orders, but I'm like, yo, you know what I want? Listen, what do you want for dinner? And I'm like, lasagna. And you're like, oh, you had lasagna two days ago. And I'm like, what about pizza? And I'm like, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw five options out there. Because it, it's also with women, because women will just be like, you're hungry. You're guilty of this, because yes. all women are guilty yes. of this. Yes. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. I don't care. My G. Like, like, <laughs> so, as a as as sometimes you got a quarterback situation, but right, go, we're getting fucking this. wild ginger pizza. Right. What do you want right. to do? And you'll be like, all right. So you you have to you have to be able to balance ideas, and it, it does. It keeps you focused. If that make it keeps me focused. If that makes sense, because you yeah, it has to. It's a mesh. Well. We have to mesh and, and work off of each other. But anyway. We got to get back to, I got it. We're going to take more fucking, more questions. Okay. Yeah, um, the 90, the 90, year, I want to, I had, I had another idea for another 10 set of questions, uh, 10 set of questions. Hold on. All right, P. Diablo, what up? These are two okay, good ones. Two good ones? Mm-hmm. Oh, so should I just keep saying this? 
Yeah, why not? How many questions is it? I, see, 60. I just felt like I wanted to do all fifth, all sixty, but I won't. They're gonna knock it out. Want to do a four-hour podcast? Sure. You with the shits? With it. Oh shit. We're on question seventeen, not sixteen. We're on question seventeen, listeners. 17. This fucking episode oh, wait, just no. got extended. Mm, maybe we're up. I don't. I don't know where we. This are. is gonna come out. Anyways. On Thanksgiving. I remember. So the happy two Thanksgiving, questions. everybody. And if you're listening to this. The Monday after. Uh, yeah, that's on you because you should have fucking streamed it on Spotify and Tidal and, and, and Pandora and everything else like I told you to. Are you tired? I'm okay. I, I'm i sorry. Forgive me, listeners. Not the ones that are listening on Thanksgiving. I hope you're enjoying your Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you ready? No. Okay. I don't know where the. I would hate. This is what I would hate about a podcast. If someone was doing this, I'd be like, "Nigga, like you better hurry the fuck up." (laughs) (laughs) Fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. You fucking texted in between. I was going live though, because I'm gonna do extended version. Okay. Do you have any signal? I don't know, but it's just gonna go when it's gonna go. All right. So. Ready. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna read the two questions that I don't know where they went. What makes you nervous? Okay, before I get to what makes me nervous, let me sum up my point. See, this is what happens when you smoke pot. I totally forgot. I was saying, like, this is going to come out on Thanksgiving. Enjoy Thanksgiving. Right. But fucking go stream this on... (laughs) uh, And go subscribe to the podcast. Not just subscribe. Make sure... Apple is trying to fuck us, let me tell you. And that's another thing, us podcasters. Make sure you download the episodes because they're trying to jip us on our downloads. Like it, it's not as fluid as it used to be. Like they don't even give you alerts now because they know mm-hmm. we want the bag. So make sure you you leave a review and you actually download the and you episode. actually download the episodes. And those who do, I greatly appreciate you and happy Thanksgiving. And I was just fucking around to those who downloaded it on Monday. I appreciate you too. And you know what? I appreciate you not feeding into my bullshit and doing what you like to do. <laughs> Let's proceed. What makes me nervous? Yes. Police. Next question. (laughs) (laughs) Next question. Uh, And you know why the police make me nervous? (laughs) No, I have to say this. Go ahead. Because they're crazy. No, because they're like, my wife has been in the car with me. And she's seen it firsthand. Like, yo, it should be different. Like, it's different. You know what I'm saying? Like. Police, like, you don't have to do that to us. Okay, we get it, bro. Like, what's up? Like, you know, like, nobody's going to do any... No, what's... Not... Like, what's the chances of me doing something? What's the chances of something going to happen to you, bro? Fucking bring it... Right. You're dictating the situation. Like, if you tense, bro, I'm tense. Like, I feel your energy. Everybody, even if you're not (laughs) doing anything wrong, cops make you nervous. Of course. Like, they be grilling you. Yeah. And I'm not... And I... See, look look at how I dress. Like, you know... If you know me, you know, like, I don't be... It's, it shouldn't be about what you wear. Like I would, I could. If I'm in a hoodie, like you shouldn't feel different about me if right. I'm wearing this. Like right. I'm still me. So when cops get on that shit, like what are you up to? Like I'd right. be like, wait, what? Like I, nothing. What you right. mean? Like what? Why what are you, are you up at me? To? Like what are you up to? You know that's so that's that's why it's not just because like oh I don't feel like the police make me nervous. I, I can give you real examples. No. Like and they make every they make me sure. nervous and I don't do anything wrong. That's, if I see him, I get like weird i don't know i just feel like they're they're not um i know there are good then, yeah i was just gonna there. say it's not all of them but but there we are a lot what makes me nervous yeah like <laughs> there are a lot that i think are in it just for the power trip and you know they make they want to make you nervous they like get like a i feel like they get like a high off of it yeah i don't i mean but i get it so. next question like, okay. <laughs> she gets it what makes you angrier than it should uh, that's how you know I'm high. <laughs> I just tried to pour the wine with the top on. Cool. I, this is my first twist off. Shout out to 15, I was about the fifteen to say, dollar wine. That, is that it's the, the same kind that we get? It, it's the same. I mean, brand. the same brand. Why is it twist off? Yo, don't no shame to people who drink fifteen dollar wine, please. Big shout out to Barefoot for not sponsoring but this podcast. But I thought call you were I thought. Yeah, I'm not drinking that. No, I'm just showing you. Oh, it says, yeah. It's new, right? This, Oh, you know, it was under the fucking... I just never saw it before, and it had the new sticker in the liquor stuff. But <laughs> it, it's, it's a... It's rosé, and it is probably tastes... It's delightfully sweet, 
but tastes like flowers. It's all right. It's, all right. it's not that good, but what are we talking about? Oh, what makes you angrier than it should? Football. Okay. I think I was That's going on a rant about that, but then I got high. But uh, like it used to, like not anymore. I, I actually, I, I feel like I'm more at peace because I don't get angry about sports. That's yeah. That's kind of why the boycott was good for me. I'm like, yo, football used to have me so fucking frustrated on Sundays. Football, you, my yes. wife is my witness. That's why she's here, allegedly. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> But, like, football used to have me really, like, in fantasy football, Ugh. I used to be looking at it like, one fucking point! Look at that shit! I don't even yell. I haven't yelled on a Sunday in so long. I get my rocks off because I play in touch football in the league. I used to, I don't get, ang- it's, that makes me sadder than I should. Like, uh, taking a bad loss in the playoffs is like. Or feeling like you didn't play well. Right. Like, you're hard on yourself. Because, like, right, th- but that's another story, but. Like it, it, I get my rocks off, so it doesn't make me mad. Like it doesn't piss me off. It, yeah. it, it's, I get emotional about it. Like when I should, like it's because you think football. about everything. Yeah, yeah right. Like it's fly again. football. I shouldn't take it that serious, but or whatever I'm like I'm playing in. But we definitely it doesn't piss me off. I realize I don't even get mad. Nothing makes me mad anymore. Like that, I realize like football's not around. Right. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm, true. Like, Hold on, those questions I didn't do. I did the oh ones. Okay. What was the best mistake you've made? A mistake that turned out really well. Hmm. That's the first question that made me think. What's the best mistake? That's a goddamn good question. I don't think I've ever been stumped on a question. Yeah, that's a difficult one. Like, I feel like if it's not a mis- I feel like that's like a uh, that's a tricky way to word it because if it's a mistake then it shouldn't like, happen. Are we talking and, about gambling? But like if playing it's, poker when I should have? Yeah. Like, if Maybe you want that, me to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. otherwise Kia if the it's Cali a mistake, girl, it's What a mistake. up? You're live on the podcast right now. We're recording episode 33. This will be out on Thanksgiving. So now you win it. I don't know if you got to send me a, a, a one of those forms but <laughs> this is going on title so shout out to Hove. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if it's but if it turned out really well, then it wouldn't be a mistake. So it, in your memory, it wouldn't right, exactly. classify that. So that's that's a not team a, nace. What up? But I'm just think. What about you? What what is the best mistake you've made? We're running through all sixty questions. Do I always do these high? Mm, no, it depends. Do I? I don't know. This is my first yeah. Time I've done the last high. like seven high actually. I think I was high. I don't remember. But uh, <laughs> what about you? What's the biggest mistake you've made? Me? Mm-hmm. I don't. Wait, are you weed shaming right now? <laughs> I think she weed shamed me. She shook her head. You're from Cali. I got a, I got a medical license here somewhere. Like <laughs> allegedly. Uh, I don't. I I can't answer that question. All right. A, a question that stumped us. So, big yeah. shout out to question seventeen. Um, uh, if money was no object, where would you live? That's a difficult. Ooh, that's one for a good me one. Too. If money was no object, I'm gonna tell you. If you ask me right now, maybe if I'm wrong, stop me. Okay. Remember that shit we saw that that uh, like that that view that Canada wherever it was in Canada where you can go and see all four sides of the of the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Building? Yeah. Or well, whatever, or the, or the surrounding area. But, um... That would be great for the end of the world. No. Uh, sorry, I was reading, <laughs> but you can't follow. Why not? You can't smoke weed? Kia the Cali girl can't smoke weed, I think. That's terrible. Yeah, you that you sounds, police? <laughs> that doesn't sound fun. <laughs> that's terrible. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll roll one for you right after this. <laughs> but, um... Whatever the view that was, and for the listeners, I know I know for the listeners in the podcast, they're like, nigga, what? But <laughs> <laughs> it was a crazy view. Uh, you could see, imagine you're in your room. It's windows all around. So I don't know. It's probably it a name for that, like but I'm high, so I can't like think about it. Like a penthouse in the city, like a block. Right, exactly. It was like a- seeing all four sides of your block. Right, yes. If, if money was no object, I would have whatever that view is in Manhattan. I'm just kidding, Kia yeah. the Cali girl. Big shout out to you. But um, that would, that's yeah, definitely that where good. I would live. So okay. it's not that hard for me. Okay. Because there's no place like home. And if you ask me, oh, 
the old me would have said Alaska. But then I watched a show like fucking Mountain Men or whatever that shit was with my wife. And I was like, oh, I was like, Alaska's not that much fun. It's bad (laughs) snow there. Like. (laughs) With all the snow shoveling, you would be in charge of. Oh, panoramic. Yo, Kia to Cali girl. Big shout out to you. The panoramic view. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. You a genius. This is why, yo, I love my Twitter listeners. This is why I love them because they, I be high and they, they come through in the clutch for me. Us, allegedly. But, um, <laughs> where, were we, where were we going? Scroll. Oh, my bad. We're running through all these questions. I'm going to be here all night. Who was the most toxic person you've known? I don't even want to get started because we're on ne- we're on positivity. Right, Next question. Wait, you scroll too far. That's how far I want to stay from negative <laughs> shit in my life. That's how far I want to stay from toxic shit. <laughs> what were the last two books you read? Oh man, I just wow! I just took them upstairs. Uh, shit. Gary V. and uh, did you read the Charlemagne book? I did not read the, I did not get through oh. the whole thing, so I do not want to count it. Okay. That's why I'm trying to think of the last ones I've finished, because I've been bouncing around lately. So, the, I mean, you know what? The last two books that I've read that really had the biggest impact on okay, me that's probably was a better Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yes. And Rich Dad, Poor Dad, definitely. I feel like yes. that shit changed my life. Yes. Uh, and what else? I told you to read one. Damn, that's fucked up. Man. I have listened to so many books. Well, I yeah, me to too. Like, I, I, I feel like I ran through a lot of books, and now I don't really. I guess Gary Vee and Rich Dad Poor Dad would like, be that um, had the biggest impact. I that like I, could, the, I, I like know. the secret. And this, see, the secret wasn't like. But you didn't read the book. You just watched. Yeah, the DVD. yeah right. Okay, I was gonna say that was just. Yeah, there's like several books of the secret, but like that was. It was basically like the precursor to Rich Dad, Poor Dad, basically. Right. So there you go. Sums that up. Okay. Next question. If you dropped everything and went on a road trip, where would you go? Every All 50 states. Yeah. Hands down, if I dropped everything and went on a road trip, I'd be like, Lens, pack your shit. We're going everywhere. We're going everywhere. <laughs> I'm hitting, I'm starting right here in New York. I don't know how to, I don't know where the shit goes, but I want to. They like, have a route. Exactly, but I want to like. I feel like I want to start here, and end in some ill shit. Like I don't want to end in Jersey. Like I don't want. I've been there before. Like I want to do some weird shit. Like I want to end in fucking South Dakota and then have to drive back. You know what I mean? Like I want to see it. I don't want to see it. We've we've traveled from the, the drive from New York to Florida, so right. I don't want to do it that traditional way. Right. I want to do it weird. real road trip style, like on a tour bus, all fifty states. I may I may scoop into Canada just because you could do it from the top of New York. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Keep scrolling. Those are the two questions I read you earlier. No. Where am um, I? What are the manliest and least manly things you have ever done? That's a good question. That is a good question. The manliest? I don't know. Like, that's a weird. Like, I feel like I'm a man. Like, yeah. all shit I do is, I don't know. You're pretty like, um, like aggressive. See, I wouldn't, I don't, cont- I'm just, I, like, I'm just me, no, so but I, I mean, think, like, like, oh, that's manly. Like, right. But, like, uh, your personality is that way, so. The least manly thing I've done was drink a pink bottle of wine. Like, <laughs> 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 now, I don't, like, what's not man? I don't, everything I do is manly. What, like, right, what's you the, wear pink, so. They, I wear pink. This, uh, like, I don't give me real men wear pink. Like, real men don't say they're real men. Right, exactly. That wear pink. Like, you I don't, don't have to I, talk I, I, about I, I it. I do me, bro. So that is like, I guess, I just, because I thought it was like a. You're just yourself. So the, you the don't have to. The dude was like, we were on the cruise and the dude was like, oh, you want one of these lady drinks? Like, I got one of the, and I was like, lady drinks? Why you got to do that? Because <laughs> I'm going to drink that shit. So that's why I thought it was funny that he said it and it was a pink bottle of wine. And I was like, I'm drinking this shit. Like, and I put it on the gram. Like, <laughs> So that's why I'm just thinking like how I'm like I guess he realized that he thought that this was some bitch right. shit. I, I, if that's what he thinks of his life, it's fine, it tastes good. So be it. But that shit was delicious <laughs> to me. So that's just what I, I'm gauging on. What I guess another man would judge right, me yeah, on. I don't that's know. That's true. But um, all right. Next, next question. question. How do you feel about pets and animals? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen. I love dogs. Um, because I like. I never like you ever. Res- I feel like you ever. I have a, yeah, yeah, there you go. That, that's what it is. I have a new respect for dogs. Like, oh yeah, I was just. I, I, I'm a bad. Like, my wife says I'm good, but I feel like 
I'd be I'm a bad dog owner. <laughs> Like, cause I'm, I barely can communicate. Like, that's why I need her. So I'm like, bro, we both can't know, not know what the fuck going on. Like, <laughs> like I, the, I, the crazy shit is I don't like them, but I respect cats. I respect cats cause cats do them. Like you put do litter, kitty litter, whatever you do down, you put some they tuna down, they'll be all right, they'll figure it out. Like dogs, like, nah, that's like a, that's like uh, a, a four year old. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like you fuck around, you can't leave the house for eight hours like you you think you could. Right. So how do I feel about pets and animals? Like they're awesome, but I think when you get into like pets, that's one thing. Like animals, like if you got like a a ferret, that's weird. Like why do you have that in your house? That's <laughs> that's strange. Or like or like Mike Tyson had a tiger. If I was rich enough, yeah, and I, I would, would totally never go broke. Like if I would never go broke, I would definitely have like a lion or some shit. Yeah. You know I always wanted a tiger from the time I was a kid. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, would you, would you like, would you go in the cage with it? Yeah. I would, I would totally like want to train it from the, t- out, like the little baby. Really? Yes. That would be amazing. How would that not be amazing? That's cra- I, dude, the crazy it would be like, Ray, okay. okay. It. it would be like, Ray, I mean, I would, I would have to do a lot of research into it. But, like, Charlie, it would be, like, you know, kind of. I mean, not exactly, but, like, a lot of difference. But, like, raising Charlie from little tiny puppy to being that big and, like... Mm, for the listeners who don't know, Charlie is uh, arguably 150-pound yes. Great Dane. Yes. Who, if she stood up on my shoulders, she'd be taller than me. Like, yeah, she's she'd big. have me by a couple inches. She's very big. And she's actually... You know, that's a good, that's that's perfect. This is perfect timing. Because I want to get this off. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Because, um, how far are we? This is going to be a crazy podcast. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not putting out a podcast after this. Because I want you to really take in this moment. Um, the, the, the Monday after, you're going to have to, ho- I want you, if you didn't listen, finish it. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't if you didn't hear it, don't skip it. Because I really want you to take this moment. And this moment means a lot for me to have my wife here. And I never wanted to, you know, I never wanted to have you on the podcast. And really? I know we were just talking about pets and animals. And we're going to get, get back, back to, to Charlie. Right. We're going to get back to that. But, like, I never, I love you so much. And I know this is like, the podcast listeners will be like, oh, hey, this thing go get sloppy. But, for you guys to really take me in, you got to take her in, you know what I'm saying? And, but I, th- and and you got to keep the trolls away from your goals. You know, you got to keep that negativity yeah. away from your life. But and I know I fuck around. I, the world is just so sensitive, right? So I know that we joke around. Right. And 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 like I said, like I talked about me being the rock of the relationship. Like when I joke around, like this is not bought to you by Lindsay's dog training. Right. Like, joking around, like she owns her own business, and she ain't got nobody to report to. But I oh, I feel like if shit hit the fan, I'll take that. Like we talked about <laughs> snitching, I'm like, nah, I would totally take the bullet for that. Like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> so I love you so much that I wanted to keep you away from any bullshit. You know what I mean? Like I wanted sense. to keep you away. like there's Twitter trolls that. Like, when are you talking about what's the most toxic person you have in your life? I really don't address it. Right. I didn't want, I don't, I wouldn't put that on you to be in that, like, to say some stupid shit and have 27,000 people listening to you. Right. Because it's stupid, and I I know, but you'd be surprised who hears what you say. This is 2017 in America. You can find anything. You can find anything. Like, you think people don't see, they see. You know what I'm saying? So... I wanted to like, I just, I don't know. Like I just, I didn't, I wasn't comfortable with it. You know what I mean? But like an episode like this, where we talk about me and we talk about just whatever. Like if you, I don't want you, like it sounds so stupid and so like trivial as you said before. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm using this in the right context, but like, it's just that one moment where I'm just like, "Mm," like, I don't like it. Like I, I I don't, it, it could be about like, I'm talking about Nicki Minaj. Right. And you may say some shit that's like, I don't know, like, I don't know what you would say or what what I would say, but I don't want you like, like you gotta, I want to stand on my own words and I don't want you to be like, oh, well, look, she agrees with this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. So I just don't, it's, I don't know. Like, like when I talk about gender roles and you're like, yeah, yeah. See, some women are like, well, you know, that's not right. And I just don't even, like, don't bring my wife into that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I never wanted you to be on the podcast, but I'm glad you're here. 
And I, I feel like the opposite. Like, you know what? Wow, like this actually feels better than I thought it would. I was nervous about it. So You're very overprotective of me, which I appreciate and I love. What you mean? You 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 we're married. Like <laughs> you're supposed to be. That's know, that'd be crazy. I know, but that's why. I think there wasn't sixty questions. I think No, there was, was sixty 25. questions. Maybe there. See it goes what website does oh, okay. what shooting exist. It's gonna keep it went to like I forget where it started. Questions to ask, and then now it's like cool questions or some shit. Okay. So it was like categories. Oh, extra questions. Fun oh, questions. Okay. okay. Uh, but we have to go back to Charlie. Okay. Anyway, I'm so glad you're here for this because you're you're a dog trainer. Mm-hmm. So that's what that's why I say it feels better because I interview like I love the fucking producers, you know, like Ty Fife. I was like, oh, this shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then I, I have like Harrison who's a rapper, and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And uh, I talk to other people, but you like, I like, I feel like, wow, you know what? I'm not taking advantage of having a fucking professional on my podcast. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, I'm like, I was just thinking like, oh, actually, there's a lot of shit that people. This could really be useful. It doesn't have to be true. You know what? We'll do our. I want to do our own episode. Okay. Our next episode. Okay. I want to. I want it to be the dog training special. Okay. See, this is. I feel like this is one of those. The moments, those like moments. the Thanksgiving moment. I'm gonna be up all night thinking about this shit. <laughs> I'm serious. I know you like, are. I just, it just hit me like boom. Like I had a real moment live on the podcast just now. Like I think I got one. Anyway, back to Charlie. We'll go. <laughs> we can't give you everything. We we'll give you a little something. A little taste. I just remembered it was recording, and I almost went off into some other shit. <laughs> but. <laughs> uh, Oh, back to Charlie. So, Charlie, you you when we first met, we were the original question was how do you feel about pets and animals? Mm-hmm. When we first met, uh, you you told me you you I forget what I think I don't know if you started talking about what you did or if you had oh no I think I mentioned your Dobermans I was like you're mm-hmm. ill. and you were like yeah I have like six dogs and I was like oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was like six dogs, my G. That's a lot of dogs. Like, <laughs> I was like, ah, like I remember being like, are you like one of those like kiss them in the mouth dog people? And you're like, nah, 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 nah. You're like, I, but I see not not you kind of lied to me a little bit because you are, but you know, I you're not like gross. It's right. not gross. Right. And before I would, I thought like people kissing dogs. I was like, Ugh. some like I saw Joe Budden. I saw Joe Budden kiss his mastiff in the mouth, and I'm like, yo, I love Charlie that dog, but she drools. I wouldn't kiss my wife if she was drooling, my G. You kissing a dog, like, <laughs> like dogs that's crazy. eat anything. Yeah, dogs eat like. That's why. That's what gets me. So when you said you had six dogs, and I, but once you was like, but I no, get no, no, it. you was like, come on, like, I, like, you, you don't brush your dog's teeth. You know, like, no. like you're not a freak, no. but you, 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 there's, there's levels. To this there's shit. Ba- like, yeah, they there's have boundaries. boundaries. Right. Yeah. Once I knew that, I was like, oh, okay. Like, all right. And then now living with you, I was like, oh, this is perfect. Like, okay, great. Like, yeah, the dogs could go, they could do whatever they want to do. Just don't be on the bed, don't my G. Right. Don't be on the couch. And then, like, after a certain hour, you go to your area, right. I'll go to mine. Right. <laughs> like, right. I, I, so I love pets, but like, Charlie, and, I, and I've always been around dogs, but Charlie, I thought I've seen, like, that shit was like a mammoth. Like, this dog, we talked about a tiger. This shit, this dog was like, when I first, no dog ever intimidated me that I saw Charlie and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I remember both of you. Listen, for the, the re- listeners, <laughs> I'm before, but yeah, before she gets into this, because she's going to tell you exactly how it was. She knows me. I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> she saw, I, this was the first time my wife saw me afraid. Like, I was like, oh shit. No, I was just like. I couldn't even help it. Like, normally I'm like, don't worry, I got this. Right. Like, I was like, you better do something. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. I look like, hold on, my G. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
<laughs> you better get that shit. Like, <laughs> so I was like, thank God. It was thank God. It was any other person, I would have ran. Like, and I'm 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 seven. I'm seven and zero against dogs. I'm running. Like, and I'm not that kind of guy. But I ran from seven dogs. That tells yeah, you a lot. Like, a fuck lot. that that's shit. True. Like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> but Char- when I saw Charlie, I got my wife was interested. She saved me. But go ahead, please tell him how it was. So that because I'm, I tell the story my way. Your but you- face was like, I knew that you were like legit afraid, and then you freaked Charlie out because she was like, "What the fuck are you afraid of?" And she like the cop thing that you were saying earlier. Yeah, yeah like, like you get tense, I get tense. Yeah, like, exactly. That's, she that's was like, fact. "Why are you nervous?" And then she was afraid of you, and you were both like jumpy and. You know, you would try to touch her and she would jump and you would jump. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Listen, that shit was funny to her. That shit was only not funny because to you, but that shit was I've scary. never like, seen you scared. I was ever. that was I could that's why I could pinpoint it like uh like Charlie and and from that moment, so now she told you how afraid I was, like from that moment with Charlie, you had her fine in like thirty seconds. Right. Like, cause I, she was like, I was like, oh shit! Like, I don't know what happened. Like, I think she wagged her tail, and I was yeah, like, yeah, I flinched a little bit. Like, ah, <laughs> like oh shit! Like, I, and I'm not that kind of. She I like was, tried to sniff you. Yeah, and like you, she yeah. camped, and I was like, ah, like, and she, and then she froze, and I froze, I was like, ah, <laughs> like hold on, like my, cause I know, and when a man, if it was a man, I'd be like, yo, what the fuck's your problem, bro? Like, stop doing. What you fidgeting him for? But <laughs> with a dog, like we ain't got no communication. Like None. you don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So when you when you did it. And, and and I'm telling like four stories at once, but it's whatever. Fine. When you did it, like when you when you when you did it, when you secured it, like when you made when you got her to like chill, right. and then I was like, oh shit, and, and we la- I laughed like that was crazy, and we laughed about it, and you're like, yeah, all right, and just stand on this side, and we'll right. be fine. And I did what you told me to do, <laughs> and we walked. Like I'm telling you, that was the first. I'm like you, I, I for the listeners, I don't think I would have ever adopted a dog in my life. Like, I would have got one because I would have got the dog I wanted. And it's not just because she's a huge Great Dane and I'm a fucking weirdo and I would totally own a lion and my <laughs> wife would own a tiger. And if you mix that, you get a liger. That's a real thing. <laughs> Shout out to Napoleon Dynamite. But, <laughs> but like, not just because she's a force and a fucking ill dog to me, like, probably one of the coolest dogs I've ever seen besides a Doberman. Like... It was the first dog I've had a bond with, like, because I saw, like, wow, that was great. Like, you felt that, too? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, my bad, I was bugging. Like, I felt like I've never had a moment with, and you have dogs, which yeah. I spent time with, and we got Zeke together. Right. Like, you had dogs before I met you, and we got Zeke together. And me and Zeke, like, we're just cool. Like, he's my right. dog. We get right. it. We, it's from a puppy. Right. I saw him, and your dogs are just cool because they're with you, and they know you with me, and right. we all good. <laughs> and I had Zeke from a puppy. That dog was the first. And the fucking last dog, I tried to be not. The first dog, I, when I met my wife. <laughs> see, this is why I can get into this pet shit. The, when I first met my wife, like, we had this understanding. Like, I don't pet people's dogs. Like, that's how you get bit bit by dogs. Like that's I don't you that's mad aggressive. Like I wouldn't want nobody petting me. So I'm just not that kind of guy. Like I'm just, I love dogs, but I look at them. I, right. I don't, I'm not running across the street. But oh my god, your dog's so cute. Like that's weird. Like I, I can see. I got Google. Right. <laughs> I had Google my whole life. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's that's weird. So I'm just not that kind of guy. But when we were at your event. Mm-hmm. And oh, Greta! I, right, and I try. If there's, she remembers the dog. The first dog, I was like, oh, I guess I'm supposed to pet it. It was like an awkward situation. <laughs> like it, it was mad people around me at an adoption event, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'm supposed Should to pet, pet this her dog. Now. Like, fuck, everyone's looking at me. But I'm just not that kind of guy. Right. And like Charlie, we understood it immediately. But in right. that situation, it was like this is like the dog came to the bottom of right. me, and it was like, ah, and everyone's all around it, and I'm like. Mm, I'm having a good time, but this is when shit gets weird. Like, I'm not touching this dog. Like, <laughs> like I was like, ah, fuck. And then I tried it, and the shit was like, Argh! and I was like, ah, shit. And I was like, see, I fucking knew it. That's why I don't fucking touch people's dogs. Because like, shit like that happens. But it's your energy. I know, but I, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> dogs, we, we got to have a, like, I got to know you. Like, I feel like I'm like one of them. Like, I'm like, hold on, bro. Don't be just coming and sniffing on me, fam. Like, I can't come sniff on you. You know, like, like that shit's weird like how you know I like you bro this is why right. like that's why my wife is like a gym because I fucking did 
like I didn't get it, and I just realized, like, oh, there was a bad dog, that bad dog owner was that. Like, yeah, like I had a dog with a past person. I had a past dog, I'll say, and I got me and the dog didn't have an understanding at some point because I'm like, yo, bro, you just, fam, you just doing what you want to do. Right. Like, this is this is not okay. This is fucking whack. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> like, fucking dog would even sit when you tell it to sit. Like, what the fuck? Like, how? What's the point? I, I'm telling you, and that was the. And this is the crazy shit. I would, tr- I thought I was trying, but I'd take that dog on long ass walks, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, like. And that's what you do. That's what we do. <laughs> like this is. I had no clue. Like I had no clue. It was a whole fucking. Like psychology, like yeah, like psychological thing, or I don't, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, there's a lot to dogs. So with dogs, I'm still learning. That's a long ass. That's the longest winded question I've ever answered. <laughs> and I think I was telling us another story, but. I don't know. Fucking write us on Twitter or something. Charlie. We met on Twitter. Should we talk about that? We can. Another time. We'll save that for the other episode. You said no, we that's were weird. Do you can't do your. I want to do a Lindsay's dog training episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You that, said that. I guess we'll get back. We'll 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 we'll. I mean, I'm we'll I'm gonna be happen. here, so we can. Yeah, yeah. Whenever. You're you're, you're uh, a friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Because it's, it's a little bit of a bad... We can, a, yeah, yeah. If I, if, she, if I wanted to, there'd be an argument on, on live on the podcast, but I ain't going to exploit it. But this is a funny little... I be See, I'm always me. like, And I, sometimes I can't turn it off. I didn't mean it no, that way. No, you can't. That's hilarious. But anyway, moving on. What? I, what? Why? Sorry. I'm, my bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, there you go. You, you just keep it. scrolling. What's the funniest, strangest thing that someone has drunkenly confessed to you? Oh, it's definitely James McCurner. <laughs> uh, it didn't, wait, what it is actually it? actually didn't funniest... ask who. It said what. <laughs> Yo, you, you know what's crazy? <laughs> you just snitching. I went to, I was about to snitch. Like, that's why, yo, that's why I, see the craziest shit is, that's why I asked, I've been clarifying the questions. Like when I, when, wait a minute, I was like, what am I about on. to say? Am I about to snitch? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's my stance on snitching. Um, what's this funniest, strangest? <laughs> I'm not going to snitch. Well, I already, I can't even tell you what it is now. No, so you I gotta can't, because we already shit. know. Uh, Wait, what, what about, about you? sober? What's the what was the funniest? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. I feel like people I feel like tell I me too good, many things. I feel like the you know what's crazy? I feel like the bullshit is funny to me. Yeah. Like the real stories. Uh, I, I'm a good person. I'll die with your secrets. So that's why. I like I was about to say some funny shit before, but then I realized like, oh, that actually wouldn't be funny to everybody like, <laughs> <laughs> like you know it's crazy see that's the crazy shit like Shelly being on Weight Watchers I felt like I didn't even mean to snitch and say right. that but I I was just gonna go into a long story about her discipline and how good she was with it Right. but other shit I swear to god I would never tell my friends secrets so like when you say the word confessed I automatically think about secrets yeah and I'm I'm not or that kind of person like, or, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so I, don't, I can't think of the funniest off the top of my head right now but that answers that. Like, okay. I, I would never tell a confession. That's why it's King Bow Christ, because I can't snitch. Okay, that's fair. How often is your brain on autopilot? Every five minutes when I reassess but that I'm about to <laughs> think about everything I've ever thought about in my life. I take, like, a couple minutes, I'll be like, huh, shit, you know, I haven't had waffles in a while. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I, um... And then I snap back to like, all right, so this is what I got to do today. Boom, boom, boom. So every, like once an hour, I, I really like, like I'll be, that's why I love to drive so much. Yeah. Because when I'm driving, out. I drive effortlessly. So I don't like, I that's feel like. That's autopilot. Yeah. I feel like that's when I'm on, like you, when you fucking I miss your too. exit and you're yeah. like, oh shit. Like, damn, I'm just. Or you're just I was going enjoying somewhere the moment. else. Right. So yeah. I don't I do, do that, that often, but when I'm on the fucking uh, expressway, like. <laughs> How often do you go into a room and forget why you went into the room? Every five minutes when I'm reassessing and not thinking. Like, really? I didn't think that you did that. But see, that's what, that's the... I mean, like, not every five minutes, but every time I'm reassessing. Like, right. not every... But, like, it'll be those autopilot moments. But I feel like that doesn't ever happen to you. That's why I had to clarify it, because it really doesn't, but it happens. Right. Like, it, I really, like... 
Like, I, I said every five minutes, but I didn't mean that. Like, I mean, like, every time I'm in that five minutes. Okay. Like, when I'm ever, I'm in that, like... If you happen to be walking in a room, you're going to forget what you went in there for. Yeah, like, if, okay. like, like I, I smoke weed on the podcast now to be funny because it's fucking, I don't know what time. It's 11. Yeah, it's usually one o'clock in the morning. I said Kia Cali, Kia the Cali girl asked earlier, like, do you, are you always high? And I was like, no. And then I was like, oh, shit, the last couple, I've been in the fucking, I, the, when I had time to do it, right. it's been nine o'clock. Right. And then by the time I really get in the moment to record, it's fucking. Twelve. Two, uh, and I have a great idea then. So, but, so that's why I, I always stay locked in. But in the moments where I'm like, I need to fucking just check out for a second. I haven't had waffles in a while, and you know what? I'm gonna drive to fucking Sonic for a bacon, egg, and cheese because I deserve it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, in those moments, I'll fucking walk into a room. I mean, I'll get downstairs to the car and I'm like, yeah, this bacon, egg, and cheese is gonna be fucking delicious. Yeah. And I'll pull the handle to the to the car door and I'll no be like, keys. oh shit, I forgot my keys, and I have to go back. Like, I was so locked in, like, and I I didn't because normally. And then sometimes you just come back upstairs and not go. Yeah, no, and then but that's why. Because I get back to reality, like, man, that's a long drive. Right. I might as well do what the fuck I need to do. You know what I'm saying? So those all, those those moments happen when I get like, I, it, I hate to be in that though. I, I hate to fucking lose that lose that focus. focus. Like, but you have to. Yeah. Whatever. Um, what this is a good one? What is the strongest animal you could win against with just your bare hands and feet? I'm not sure what you would use your feet for. That's why but. I'm so glad you're here for this, because you know, like, <laughs> when I say I'm, this is an amazing episode. I swear to God, when you say, I'm glad we. I, mean, I don't even need this wine. I'm just happy I'm here with you. But I'm glad we got uh. more wine with the top on. <laughs> but because you know, like, when I say I'm seven and zero against dogs, you're always like, oh boy. Like, you can't, like, stop. Like, you're always like, you cannot outrun every dog. I know you're thinking that. But but I really feel like I can't, like, you know, I feel like such a savage sometimes, but Dobermans that's why. run 45 miles per hour. I get you can jump on stuff, but if it's a straightaway, they're catching you. I wouldn't be in those situations. See, that's why <laughs> I know they wouldn't catch me, and that's why we talk but about those five minutes. hypothetically, you ask me no, hypothetical questions no, all the listen, time, and you're like, no, no, I'm no, always no, on but, point. Hypothetically, I'm always like, looking down the street. Like I'm looking down the street. Like, but oh. hypothetically, doesn't like you asked me some off the wall shit that could <laughs> never possibly ever Cause, possibly cause I want to be on point for ten years from now when I <sighs> asked you. I'm relying on your information. So, see, this is why. <laughs> this is why when I give this answer, you guys are gonna know it's the real. What's the strongest animal I could win against with my bare hands and feet? If you see me in the woods fighting a bear, help the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, no, that's real shit, though. I, I feel like... It depends on what kind of bear, I feel like. Come on, my G. There were some that over, like, 800, 1,000 pounds. Leonardo DiCaprio, oh, no, he, he took the L. If I was Leonardo DiCaprio, I would have fucked that bear up. Like, I really, like... Come on. I, the only thing I can, the, the only shit I can't beat, I know I can't, was be, when we saw the lion, a lion used to fucking impress me. I saw the lions in the zoos, like Sleeping. several zoos sleep. They sleep for 18 hours a day. I have a lion tattooed on my chest because it's just, I, like the king shit. I right. really take it so serious and I respect the lion in the jungle and like it, what it represents. And even like, we talked about the lion king. Like right. I really like, it, right. and that's like, that's I can't even watch that yeah. shit. Like how people feel about dogs, for some strange reason I felt about a lion. And then I'm like, they say, don't meet your heroes. Right. Like, I saw one and I was like, ah, shit. Like, I that's know, it. Shit. Like, did, you mean this shit's only going to chase me? For, I mean, <laughs> granted a lion could probably, but when I see them hunt, I'm like, nah, I'm like, they're kind of like lazy. Yeah, like they don't even really want you, like unless you, you know, they're, they're fucking cats. Yeah. So, does that mean would I go in a fucking like rogue safari, me and my wife? Absolutely not. That'd be crazy. Like, who does that? Like, you see what happened to the crocodile hunter? But true. I forget what I was saying. You were talking about beating a bear with your bare hands. Oh, right. So once I saw when I saw the rhino, I was told that's why you're a genius. She's amazing. We would do. I swear we'd do this podcast off the mic. <laughs> that made sense but uh like when we saw the rhino i was like oh shit i was like those fucking things are huge they're you know? really big. i saw so the rhino is one thing i know i'd take the elegance i, I don't even like the shit even if it i don't even think i could outrun it because i saw 
I was like, damn, see, a lion, you might could see that shit coming out. Like, when the fuck would a lion attack me? But when would a rhino attack? Like, if that shit's charging at you, it's got you. Like, a lion. Yeah, true. I'm not saying I'm faster than a gazelle. Like, granted, it would catch me, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, if you uh, if you see a fucking rhino would tip the fucking safari thing, like, everything's fucked up. Yeah. I don't have a situation Done. where I could get out Done. of that. Like, Done. <laughs> like, a lion's not going to jump in the shit. Like, it's right. not that kind of animal. Unless it really wants to attack you. And that's another story. But as far as what kind of animal I would be, a bear. End of story. Sorry. Next question. <laughs> I feel like I made too much out of that, but I had to really get that off. Like, I feel like if this is my episode, the King Bo Christ episode, you if I was that. asking me a question, because I'm a sicko, I'm at, I'm answering questions, I would ask me. Uh, and I fucked up the... Uh, you always, you keep... Okay, there we are. Which fictional villain made you feel hatred towards them? Scar. Okay. Lion King again. Where is, where is this? Right under the picture. The oh. first one. Uh... Scar, he okay. didn't have to do that. That was fucked no, up. He didn't. I'm about. We gotta watch that shit. I'm about okay. to. We gotta watch Lion King. Okay. Um, I'm gonna face my fears. <laughs> <laughs> Lion King. If when you died, you got put Jesus into Christ. a room for eternity with people who died the same way, how would you want to die? What? That's fucking morbid. Let's skip it. No, I feel like you have to do it. No, you don't. We don't have to do uh, anything. People we that live to 180. Okay. I'm serious. I mean it. That actually. I, that's why I feel like you, I got to answer it. I, I got to be fair. Because like, yeah, that like sounds died toxic of old age. at first. Died of old age. But like, you, we talked about creating our own destiny. Like yeah. if I had to put that shit in the universe, I would be like, well, I'd like to, I'd like to be on fire as opposed to drowning. Like I, I don't, know, wanna, like I don't even yeah. want to go there. That shit almost made me feel like I got to open the door just now talking about death. Like I like. Ugh. That's another. That's another story for but another like day. But like, died of old age. That makes sense. I, but to be, if I had to pick who I'd be in a room with, are people that lived double their life expectancy to be like, yo, wow, the 180 crew. Right. You believe we fucking made it? And my wife's here. This is awesome. So that's who I. That's okay. Who I'd want to be in a room with. That's fair. And what? big, so we could freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> What would an amusement park filled with your biggest fears be like? Jesus Christ. What, what, what rides, is this? I don't know. This is fun, fun questions? questions. That's not fun. No. Uh, Let's skip that one too. Hold on. No, no. I want to be fair. Okay. What shit ain't you know, that's what the thing about life would though. It have? Like shit ain't always cookies and milk, and I ain't Sarah Lee. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh what would so basically, you know what I feel like? What? You know what I'm doing right now? I'm role playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I'm I'm acting like I'm on drink. I, nobody ever asked me questions. I'm always asking the questions. Okay. So to have these questions, so you're like, I, all right, I feel I like answer them. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna answer them as if this is why I started okay. the podcast to talk about okay. me. Okay. And I feel like my wife is hosting. I feel like this is this is a great moment. I, I swear, <laughs> this is my favorite fucking podcast I've done so far. I'm not even kidding. I gotta use the bathroom, and I've been holding it. I ain't done that for no podcast. So you guys know the podcast listeners. I stopped plenty of podcasts. Like, well, we're back. And when I was with Wink, I was like, Nah, man, I'm a grown ass man. I piss when I want. I'm holding it for this one. I swear. Things change. Life changes. People change too. Please, my love, proceed. All right. So, an amusement park filled with your biggest fears. What rides would it have? Uh. Huh. <sighs> it'd have a deep ass it'd be like a fucking it'd be like stranded on a boat like that would be like, <laughs> in the middle of the ocean like that if that's an amusement if that's that's I, that like I don't I, I don't I have like hang dangling snakes and all right. that shit like it's an amusement park but if you really wanted to a fucking well like jumping or like skydiving like I, I don't know like I, I don't have any fears but I could tell you what if I could give you the answer in my own w weird way, right. it's not an amusement park, but like it'd be like skydiving and being like, stuck in the Survivor. Of the ocean. Okay. Like, all right, here's a paddle in a boat. I think that kind of makes sun. sense to what they were asking. Right. That's yeah. That's what I'm trying to yeah. do here. But like, <laughs> if it's a paddle in the boat in the sun, uh, sudden and rising in each direction. Hopefully, I got water. It is an amusement park. I know it's going to be nine dollars. Hopefully, I can get some water. <laughs> a shot of fucking water 
for nine dollars and and I could get out of there, but that's what it would have. Okay, makes sense. What would an amusement park design specifically to make you happy be like? You're a genius because I fucked up the screen and you remembered. I did. All right. So, what would an amusement park design specifically to make me happy? Oh, man. It would take, uh, to sum it up for the sake of the podcast, because that's easy. Like, it would be, it would be like the ultimate fucking. See, I, the amusement park is weird saying that, but right. I'm just going to yeah, describe the, like yeah. what you get out of it. I, 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 but I know what it's saying. Like I, I get what it's getting, but to use amusement park. So yeah, that's like, if if I think about what would Great Adventure have in it, if I the Want, safari right. would still be there because like looking at animals is actually a lot more peaceful than I realized it would be. And and when people look at paintings, I don't understand that shit. When they stare at a painting, like wow, yeah, I'm, I'm always yeah. thinking like that can't be fucking real. Like you can't really feel like that. Like you're really that. Yeah, hype. it's like, a what are you? blob. And I, I love. Do I love painting? Absolutely. Yeah. But things that make me happy, like, like no, like, yeah, no. not staring but, at someone else's art. Right, not staring at someone else's art. But so animals would definitely be a. I didn't realize look how like satisfying looking at what. They're not wild. See, I don't. But that's, they that's are. Why I say you that, can't go in there with them. Right. That's why amusement park was weird, but it was perfect because I know like this African lion is in New Jersey. I get it. Right. This is like unfortunate, but like it's like it's okay, isn't it? Like right. Like Peter would be on top of this. Right. <laughs> like if this was true. Fu- if this that's was true. fucked up conditions, true. like. You know, I look at the elephants when we went to Great Adventure, and right. I'm like, all right, they're all right. Like, they go in for the winter. Right. Like, I, I guess, because pe- cause I don't, because I uh, look at people, and don't get me, like, for our dogs, I want us to have fucking 90,000 acres and all right. that in the middle of Alaska. But it's realistic to have a decent-sized backyard, and that'd right. be fun. Yeah. So, I really looked at it like, okay, as long as nobody's getting hurt, and right. it, they're not fucking taking their tusks or some right. crazy shit or whatever, yeah. I'm like... All right, this is this is cool. So it definitely have the 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 safari safari because looking at wild animals is actually like ridiculously peaceful. It is, but it have it have a mini golf course. Okay. Right. It, um, it have paintballing. Okay. It would that makes have, sense. See, the crazy shit is like football doesn't necessarily. I wouldn't have it in my amusement park. Okay. It's not all joy. Cause right. If I, There's a if lot I, of frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... I take I take it so serious that it's right. not like, it's not a fucking game to right. me. <laughs> Even though I play for free on my own time it's on Sundays. It's too competitive. But I, that's why it's not a game because I it's like my one, right. it's a vice. Like, well, and you're not like mini golf. Like you're very competitive in mini golf, but it's just it's you. Fun. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, if you have a team with you, like it's hard to. It's a whole, that's what it's a whole I'm other not a team system. Player. I'm not a team player, so it's I, me forcing myself to be a team. I'm right. not naturally, right? But it's me, like, all right, I'm gonna work. I with have other to people, because right? it's the only way I have. I can play football. I can't play but football by what, myself. But that's what I love about it, though. Like, I love that it forces me. I was really an anxious kid. Yeah. So it forces me to really like mesh. You know what I mean? Like it forces me to. That's where I met James. Yeah. You know, like it forces me to. True. Mingle. Mingle. Like, all right, you got to talk to people. And that's where I met a lot of cool people. But James is like, he was, uh, he was like awkward like me. Like, so I was just like, uh, all right, like, I can always talk to him. Like, all right, bro. And he just happened to be cool and we clicked. But like, you know, when you're just sitting there, like, I'm that kind of guy, like, I'd rather sit, instead of going to the group of 15 people, mm-hmm. I'd rather sit, sit with alone. the one. No, I, no, no, I'm not sitting alone. That's, that's how. Oh, yeah. I'd like, rather sit with the one kid who's sitting alone. Like, I'd rather yeah, be like, yeah. all right, bro, it's just the two of us. What's up? Right. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> as far as I was saying all that to say, as far <laughs> as, like, football, I love it so much, but it would not be in my amusement park. Right. Like. That makes you sense. You know what? Though. You know what's crazy? What would be in my amusement park also? Like, a, a baseball diamond for, like, a wiffle ball game. Like, some ill shit. Like, my amusement park would have ill shit. Like, like uh, what's that? Like. Not table tennis. Yeah, like table tennis. Like, but a, a massive pong. one. Like, I can't. I'm bad at tennis, but I'm okay at like ping, my ping. Pong. My dad beats me in ping pong. And it's very frustrating. I just want to get that out there. <laughs> but, 
But if it, it was like, because it's so, it's like too light for me. I'm not yeah. that delicate. And tennis. You can mess up really easily. And tennis, I'm not that finesse. So if I had that happy medium of yeah. like what I could build in a fucking right. amusement park, it would have that too. Okay. And bowling. But I, I'm going to end it there because I feel like okay. I can go on forever. <laughs> but it's good because you like so many things. What's something you wish you had never learned how it was made or how it works? Pussy. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's the um, tiger on Walking Dead. Oh, wow. That's a that's a legit answer. You are like, absolutely that right. That really ruined You know what's crazy? When I saw it the last time, I'm like, this shit ain't even real. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> I got to remember that. I got to remember <laughs> Walking Dead. I got to put that in the notes. Par- pardon me, <laughs> listeners. I hate listening to myself when I do this. But this is one of those moments where I have to do it. Like, Walking Dead <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> Seriously. It did, like... That it shit took the fucking... joy. I know it's not real. Wow, you're absolutely But right. you could have just... Because we, we had that moment together. Yeah. I was like, oh, come on, my <laughs> G. Why you gotta do we that? don't want to know that much. <laughs> like, don't do that, bro. I know Let it's us fake. ask for that if we if you want to tell it. You know, like yeah, I don't like, want to know. David Blaine ruined magic for. I'm mean, not David Blaine. Like the fucking how magicians work ruined magic for yes, me. Yes. I like I believed in magic and yeah. I saw that shit and I was like, oh, it's all fake. Yeah. Like when I found out about the WWE, I was like, oh, it's all fake. <laughs> Santa like, Claus, the Easter Bunny. Yeah, the, exactly. So. Like, you're, you're absolutely right. I, tr- I was trying to be funny at first and just really move on because I was dead ass about pussy. But when you really get into the real mix of it, like, you're absolutely right. That shit was... It was, like, it was a huge disappointment. Reality TV, like... Yeah, like, come on. Like, yeah, like, you realize, like, oh, it's all a sham. Like, oh, man. It's <laughs> just bullshit. That's bullshit. All right. What names were ruined for you because you knew someone terrible with that name? Can, can we? I'm sorry. I have to do this. Okay. I would do this to you on the podcast. Can we talk about Caesar? Yeah, we can talk about Caesar. Because once one thing, you you wish you never like learned. How, like I okay. know people would be oh, like, yeah. people are like really. Like, listen, I'm gonna go to the tape. I never even bothered to look because I know you. You someone told you. Like um, you saw it on Netflix, yeah. or, or whatever oh, it was. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Where where it was? Yeah. Right. I never actually looked myself. I know you looked. I didn't actually. I trusted. I knew you didn't look. I didn't look. Really? I trust you her. You gotta look right now. Oh, uh, I, I know but we don't look right now. Yeah, yeah. you'd have to. It's it was story. a marathon she was watching too. Right, but see, I got it. That's why I didn't. I, 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 I'll wait. We'll wait for our stance on Caesar because I gotta look at it before I get my. We could put that on the dog trainer. We'll put episode. Wait, we'll put that on the dog Make trainer episode. I got you. All right, so we'll get back. To we'll, that. we'll get back to that because that's one thing I was like, oh, yeah. Like so, it was like the like the David Blaine thing. Like I was like, oh, they do it with this stuff too. Yeah. Like and that's what, that's what made me question. Like, wait, does is Aisha Curry really good at cooking? Like that's what really made, really made me like. Hmm. Like everybody asked that question because I thought the same thing. Like, Wait, do you Aisha really Curry? know what you're doing? Nori has a, a has a has a uh, an episode on. No, it? a cooking show coming too. But like, Trick Daddy, as much as I, I don't like him, he I like he makes weird like like the guy TC we saw. Um, no, okay, T- T- yeah, TC sauce. Yeah, whatever. right. Yeah, like. If I bump, if I looked at him in Stop and Shop, like, oh, yeah, I make barbecue sauce, I would have been like, bro, go ahead with your shit. True. I would have been like, bro, like, just judging him by what he looks like right. is like, right, bro, you know. I t- that but sauce, I was like, yeah. my gee, this shit is amazing. And he's bottling it, selling bo- it, shipping All his it. stuff. So, like, I was saying that to be like, it made me question it, but if, if I didn't actually, I have to see it and I have to really be in it to, to give you my full opinion before I go and question a whole because of this reason because I fucking yeah. take the shit to a whole hundred <laughs> and it's just my beliefs for the rest of my life so that's why I hate to come to those rash decisions on things <laughs> next question <laughs> um, you kind of cir- that was a circle back right to uh, what's something you wish you never learned how to yeah. make you work okay but, what names were ruined you- for you because you knew someone terrible with that name there's so many. I don't have any. I feel like there's a lot of names that I'm like, ugh. 
But there's just so they're just annoying names. Hmm. No, I I actually legit don't have any. Hmm. See, that's just she's, she's. I won't I won't make it high. I won't snitch. But like I don't even. She's talking about my neighbor. But like, <laughs> like that's the thing. Like I don't even like. It's like it's funny at that point. Like that wouldn't. Yeah, really yeah. It doesn't me. like. No, no, like, no. It's, just, it's like, not like. It's one of those moments where I'm like. I think about it. I think, like, yeah, 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 that's yeah, what yeah. I mean. Yeah. So it's not ruined for me. Like I don't, I don't, I don't care about it that much. Like yeah, when you no. say ruined and terrible, yeah, that's those are Donald just, Trump words. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't care that much. We don't. We're not that serious. <laughs> we're not that Next serious question. about things. If you could have a remote control that controls any one type of machine, what would you have a remote for? Any t- that's a that's a fucking strange question. Yeah, like what? Any type. I feel like, uh, like that's a weird like. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand that. Oh shit! Maybe the washer and dryer does that count? Um, if you could do it from upstairs, like satellite TV, like 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 how you unlock your car and the, and yeah. the uh, yeah, that viper would be great. control, if it, like folded <laughs> if it, and yeah, everything. If it switched that motherfucker, that folded it. <laughs> washing machine okay. dryer is my that's answer. That's a great answer. <laughs> we need to invent like that. next phase. There you go. <laughs> Beep. And it's put away in your drawers. Um, what's something you do one way, even though it's incredibly inefficient or nonsensical? Because that's how you've always done it. Fucking driving with me. Definitely. I'll take the long way just because oh, I know right. it. Yeah. Like, I don't like exploring. Like, I'm not getting, I'm, the last thing I'm doing is getting fucking lost driving. That's with true. all this GPS and shit we got, if I'm going to play myself and drive there, I'm going to go the way I know. And well, and <laughs> I'll take different ways sometimes. You're like, I had no idea this way was so right, much exactly. faster. Right, exactly. So that's one thing. Like, if I know it, I'll just... Yeah, it's inefficient, like, gas time. But it's your way. But it's my way. Um, what's the coolest thing scientists could uncover while searching the ocean? What? The Loch Ness Monster. Okay. Fair. Next question. I feel like that shit ain't real, but I hope it's real. That was a that was a stupid question. <laughs> Here, do you need some magic sauce? What do you think? <laughs> Maybe I might after this question. Rejuvenate yourself. Um, what do you think aliens would actually look or be like? <laughs> All right, now they're dragging it. Re- thank they don't you. look like us. Okay, That's good. the scary shit. No, no, this needs to this needs to be said. They're gonna look like us. We on Earth, and we talked about how beautiful it is to be here on life, and how beautiful it is to be alive, right? Right. Who says we not aliens to somebody? And I ain't gonna go all George Jetson, but the Jetsons was far fetched until we went to that fucking museum and saw that shit about outer space. Like I was like, holy oh, yeah. shit, that was crazy. Go to go. What is that? What is that? See, that's why uh, these, I'm telling you, I would fucking. I'm not trying. to See, this is why this has to be my episode because I'm telling you. That's why I have no. I've wanted to start my own podcast because I feel like I can fucking knock any question out of the park. Like I really feel like you know what? That seems like a dumb question. It was stupid at first. Like I was like, all right, you're dragging it. But if you really want to get down to it, me being the gray area investigator, like I joke about. Oh, true. Like. What do I think aliens would look like? Us. I feel like... We're aliens to somebody. S- we aliens. Is after seeing that... Sh- I don't oh, like, yeah, true. I, I forget totally what forgot. museum it is. That video, like, that shit blew, blew my, my mind. mind. To see the fucking galaxy. I don't think we ever... See. I don't think we even talked about it That's after. how it much it so blew my fucking <laughs> mind. That I was like, <laughs> whoa. That, I can't. That was those five minutes we talked about. Those five minutes when I checked out. Oh, yeah. Like, I checked out. I feel like I have to see it again <laughs> to take it serious. Yeah. Like, I feel like I was just like, oh, my God. Yes. And I, do, I didn't even process what was happening. Yes. I actually... I. I didn't. I pushed it out of my memory. It wasn't you because don't even, it you blew took, my you mind. Just took in the moment. We didn't pull out any phones. We didn't take out any selfies. And the fucking crazy thing is, they told you like you'll get kicked out if you pull out your phone. Try me. Mm-hmm. And it, we put the phones down and we really looked up. Seeing that shit fucking bugged me out. It was like, crazy. It was it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. So when I I was saying all that, say. After seeing that shit, I think that aliens would look exactly like us, and they ain't aliens. And I'm not conspiracy yeah. theorist, but go fuck. I, I will put. I'll find it. It was. It was a museum of. Na- it was not, not natural history, was it? I think the Mola? big one. I'm so terrible because I don't remember the names. Uh, See, that's why well, I you know I'm not. In the daytime, I, I swear I would remember this, but right now, like it's... my brain turned off like three hours. <laughs> yeah, like ago. it's so fucking late. I'm just like, look, if you want me to, if, if you it's, want some, if you want my big, opinion, I can give you that all day. But the like, big uh, main 
museum in the city. Is it in Harlem? It's in Harlem. I forget. I, I'll, I'll remember and I'll tweet it one day. Or you'll fucking know. But go it's see the, the big, fucking space exhibit. I think it's exhibit. the Museum of Natural History. Go to the fucking History. body it's exhibit. The, Just go learn how life works. Museum and if that of shit Natural don't tell History. you how That's aliens work, exactly. So whatever it is, you'll fucking figure it out. Next question. All right. What website doesn't exist but should? Uh, can we start delivering weed already? Like, can I order yeah, don't it? Don't like, they already? Certain places. Not, in, not where we are. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, but if you want me to, like, I can't be serious about that. Like, I don't fucking know. Like, that's, I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to have some fun here. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I already had my epiphany for the night. Doesn't exist. I'll max that. Question. Next question. Okay. If career, jobs slash careers had slogans, what would be some of their slogans? What? What? Oh, Next you want, I know what they want. Like, car salesmen. It's like funny shit the cross men say, I don't want to do that. Next question. What's the most stress relieving thing you can get or do for less than twenty dollars that fucking ticket to that museum we just talked about uh-huh. don't go on a fucking wednesday we could have got in for free if we went on what day is it? like wednesday or whatever it is you just give a donation quote unquote what you think you should 25 give, give them five dollars don't be an asshole. Don't give them 25 cents. Don't be an asshole. I mean, this is for the last time when you sold dollars. us the tickets. True. And, and we, we, got, we got kicked we didn't out. We, we didn't no even No one scanned get our to... tickets. By the way, this museum. Closes pay, at five on Sunday. We would pay like $65 for that shit. I don't know. Something ridiculous. Yeah, we paid something crazy to walk in. We walked. It was like closed. And we just kind of, like, we were, I was like, all right. And I'm looking like, we all right, we like paid. We had like 45 minutes. Yeah, right. They let us buy, let us go in. Didn't say like, hey, you only got 45 minutes. They finessed minutes. us, right. Yeah, they finessed us. Absolutely. So. But with all that being said, <laughs> you could go, still go there and, and, and watch the space exhibit because it's worth it. It is worth Even it. Even if you it's feel like you got IMAX. fucked, it was worth it to just totally check out. It. Like that was stress relieving, relieving and just really enjoying the moment. Yeah, I agree. I actually, I that I haven't even thought about that thing. Um, it then. was because it was like a massage. A massage isn't good to me. I'm thinking about the shit I still got to do. Right. That shit to just check out. The, it's, you gotta accept the world for what it is right now yeah. 2017 right. if you show me like you can look into the future for five yeah. minutes like what like, yeah. <laughs> like all right. let me know why wouldn't you check out and just enjoy that right. it'd be fucking stressful after right. but in the moment you'd be like wow yes or like oh shit <laughs> so you know next question what do people really need to chill out about politics opinions but that's what I'm doing right now. No, but people listen. Do you not going on somebody's well, I guess Facebook? I'm not talking giving about it. like Wendy Williams passing out. What do I think about it? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay. Like, and not even just that. Like, you're doing your own. Like, people have opinions. People have opinions on people's opinions. You know, like people are gonna have opinions on your opinions. Like, it's your opinions. Right. Shut up. But that's why everybody's I, offended by everything. I'm all I care. I care about opinions with like life shit that I'm talking about. Right. If you if you want to tell me personal experience. Don't I don't want to hear you talk about Trump versus Hillary. Right. I don't want to hear that. Mm-mm. Like that's what I think. We need to go back to you don't talk politics or religion. We need to yes. get back to that. Yes, absolutely. That's what I really I like. It. I, I really feel like people need to chill out. Like you know what? I'm sorry. We fucking have this much disclosure. Let's go back. Like yeah. people have always felt okay. this way. Don't we, get me wrong. We went too far. Yeah. Like okay. Like there's got to be a line. Like. And if it's going to be the one thing, let, let's just let it be politics. Because you know what? You guys are going to do what you want to do. Right. And the other side is going to do, we're going to do what we're going to do. And everybody, the other side is always going to do what the other side is going to do. But let's not, we're pretending and we're not, we're just running in circles at this point on both sides. Yep. So before I go into that and I'm going to chill, like I'll just leave it at that. And if you can't admit that, that's why I feel like we need to chill. If right. you're like, no, but, you know, Trump did this. Yeah. And if you're like, but, you know, Hillary, if you still want to do that. Right. That's ex- the exact right. reason I feel like we need to chill. Yeah. Next question. That's a great answer. Thank you. I try. What's the grossest thing you've ever... It says drunk, but I think it's a drink. drink? Yeah. Oh. I want to say tequila after a hangover. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I look back like, was it... What was that? Was I bugging? Is that why my body rejected that shit? Or... <laughs> or... That sounds terrible either way. So that isn't even, like, that's definitely, that's the most awful. Has to be. I can't smell tequila now, so I cannot imagine. Yeah, so now I'm like, what was I thinking? 
That, I actually just wanted to make a note of that, but I actually want to just move on. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to feel that. Feeling. Yeah, like it just made me feel like ooh. <laughs> it made me feel gross. Just yeah. Now. Ugh, go ahead. Jesus Christ. If someone let you put whatever you wanted on a billboard in the center of your town or city, what would you put on the billboard? My wife. My wife's uh, logo. I will put. I will put your business. I knew that you would say that. Hands down, no question. Next question. Which hairstyle <laughs> fits? Which hairstyles fit with which personalities? What? Oh, I know what they mean. Like you know when you see like the single mom cut. Oh yeah, yeah, but what? But that's a stupid question. But yeah, I know like, what you're how many about. haircuts yeah, yeah, can like, fit with a. That's crazy. I don't got one for that. What scrambles your brain every time you think about it? The world. And we just talked about it now of space, and I don't yep. want to move on. <laughs> <laughs> if colors had a taste, what would each color taste like? What? Oh, nah. Pink Starburst would taste like love. Makes my cheeks tingle. Said if colors had a taste. So, oh. like, pink would be... Like Starburst, I guess. I guess I like, answered that. I don't or know. Or strawberry. Or I, I like get what it's saying, but it wasn't. Orange. I looked at it backwards. It was more interesting. You looked how at it, it wasn't how you head. wanted to say it. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why you were clarifying questions yeah. earlier. <laughs> if you had complete genetic control over plants, what is the coolest looking tree you could make? What? what? My myself, I would grow statues of myself if you want the answers to okay. that. But that's a fucking that weird makes question. sense. It's a real narcissistic. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like answers <laughs> like shit like that because I'm like, yeah, if you want the truth, <laughs> you don't want to know the truth. You don't want to know the truth. Like, fuck. <laughs> what inedible thing do you wish you could eat? What? what? I don't, I don't know. Pass. Nothing. Like it's inedible. It's like I don't. Yeah, wanna, I don't. That's what makes people like... fucking weirdos. Yes, like, that, they those shows. Yeah. And they want to eat. You drink bleach. Corn and they, yeah, like, and... My mom used to eat cornstarch. I thought that was the weirdest shit ever. Like, I used to be like, you weird. need to stop. That is weird. People do that shit for, like, is it? There was somebody it, on a South? show. That shit is so strange. I have no idea. There was somebody on a show, like, um, what was it called? Like, Strange Addictions or something like that. And there was this lady who ate cornstarch. Like That shit is crazy. I'm glad she quit that shit because I'm like, this is Are strange. you sure? I, I hope so. Shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> after watching those shows, like, I really. That's like, what I mean. Like, they hide it. Shit. Like, I'm like, yo, you, that shit's not normal. No, like, that's it's not It's inedible. Okay. Like, you're not. You're not supposed to eat that. <laughs> that's not poisonous. Like, so, <laughs> inedible? Uh, nothing. Nothing. What condiments do you refrigerate and which do you leave in the cabinet or the pantry? How would you have do any we, idea? Do we? Do <laughs> me? Because I just, could you get everything? Yeah. That's why, I was just about to ask you that. I'm like, do we, <laughs> what exactly do we do with this stuff? Because I don't, I swear, like, if you didn't do that. Like, what exactly do we do with that stuff after I put it down on the coffee table? Like, where does it go? Good question. It just like, disappears. It disappears. Uh, who knows? That's the eighth wonder of the world. Next question. Spiciest thing I've ever eaten. My man called me a pussy and he said, cause it was, his, he had the spicy wings. Oh, no. And he was like, it, I've read it before. I, I was like, it was, this is like the fourth question I've actually looked at by accident because I turned because I was rolling weed. But I saw spicy and it just pissed me off. And that's why I wanted <laughs> to just tell the story. <laughs> My man. That's why I want to do Drink Champs. I can't wait. Like, I'm glad it's my moment, though. Like, I'm glad it's all my show. I get to tell it, and, and you're here doing it. Because this is, like, it's, it's even better. But, like, if there's a question, like, what would be your favorite celebrity moment? I'll be like, if my wife got to come with me on Drink Champs. Like, because I see, like, a lot of rappers be married for 25 years on the low. I and Even Nori, he's always with his wife. His wife comes to the podcast, and she's in the background. Okay. I always think, like, yo, that's going to be cool. And that's why, when I say my 50 pod, my 50... Uh, my my world tour, which is uh-huh. really only going to be the United States. You got to come with me. Like when I start my take my podcast on the road, I want it to be that. So I was saying all that to say <laughs> I'm I really have to get this story off. Okay. The fucking and you're glad that it's happening. And here. I'm glad that it's happening right here, right now, with my wonderful wife. <laughs> the fucking. The uh, the we were at I was working at a bar, the fucking guy was like Mike. Big shout out to Mike. I went to his bachelor party, and that's where I got the idea for our anniversary. So definitely big shout out to Mike. And uh, he was like, you know, uh, too bad you don't like these wings because I put a little hot sauce on it because you know you don't eat hot sauce. <laughs> and I was like, Yo, fam. And 
And I was like, yo, fam, what you mean? I don't, you trying to be funny? Like, he said it like that. And I was like, oh, you trying to be funny? I was like, bro, I'm not scared of hot sauce. <laughs> like, I just don't like hot sauce. Right? So he was like, um, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, if you don't like it so much, I don't see you. I'm like, nigga, pass. I took the fucking hot sauce and oh put it my God. all over the wing. Bo. Then I bit that shit. Oh, my God. I, I haven't heard the story. I never. That's why I saw Spicy. I Like, you know when we suppress bull? Yeah. Like, that shit changed my life. I had a whole new respect for the spice. I, I, and people think I'm weird because I could. And my son does that shit. He smells food. And he's like, nah. And I'm like, oh, see, I get it. Like, I smell that shit. Like, and I'm like, nah. Like, I, my fucking cheeks started, like, my, you know, when you, yeah. your taste buds start tingling, yes. like, when you have something, like, sour? But it was like, a, I get that with spicy, if that makes sense. Yeah. That shit happened. Like, your taste buds are saying, no. My taste buds was like, nah, my G. Like, fast. <laughs> I bit that shit. I've been in fights before. I'd rather be punched in the face. Like, that, I don't know. I don't even know what that shit was. That shit fucking was crazy. <laughs> like, it was like... I don't know. Like, that shit was... Cr- I, I legit thought, like, I was pepper sprayed. Like, I, <laughs> like when people say, oh, I felt like I was pepper sprayed. Like, I totally... I felt like I could drool. It, it was fucked up. So, the, the I don't even... I got to find out the name of this shit. But that spicy-ass fucking sauce, all because he called me... And it was worse than that. But that's why he... No, nah, that's he why knew. he... knew. He was like, nah, oh, he's, he's But bitch. that was like... The, that's why it was worse. Because I was like, oh, this nigga set me up. Like, <laughs> Like, that's what made it more spicy. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, this shit is really hot. Like, I wasn't, okay. Like, okay, this is not normal. Like, no. this ain't like pepper. <laughs> like, I thought this was going to be like Tabasco sauce. This ain't like Tabasco sauce. Like, this is some other shit. Like, this is like, it's, it's hotter than the world's hottest sauce. Whatever oh that shit was. Oh, my God. I was like, nah, 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 my G. Like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you were pissed. Nah, 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 this shit. No, nah, it, was, it was funny. It was actually, okay. I wasn't actually mad. Because you know why it was funny? If I let, if I, I know my own ego. Like if I let myself get there, I was like, nah, I gotta take that L. I deserve that. I gotta take that L. And it's funny because because it's hilarious. funny that I'm telling the story also, and I mentioned drink champs because drink champs uses this shit called Tiger Bone, uh-huh. and I want to try it, but they say it's so nasty. But I'm it like, it sounds nasty. It's like a herb. It's a it's a Chinese herb. It's like I don't. It's like you know when your grandma takes you, makes you take a shot of castor oil. It's kind of like that, but it's it'll get you fucked up if you take like two of them. You'll be like, Ugh. it's like sake, you know, not mm-hmm. sake. Yeah, yeah. yeah Whatever that shit is, it's like that, like to the next level. But I, I want to try that shit. So that's another drink champs thing. But go Ugh. ahead, next question. It made you, it gave you the chills. Yes. That's awesome. Um, what unnecessary products or services do you consider necessary? Mobile car washer. Shout out to 516 Car Wash. Next question. All right. <laughs> um, what is the craziest place you... 51631 have- Car Wash. It's still new. <laughs> what is the craziest place you danced? A wedding, because I have so much anxiety and I can't believe I did that. Not anxiety. Like being- no, I'm just looking at you because I didn't realize that you had anxiety at weddings. I have anxiety at weddings. And Let I always thought I was ruining your time no. because I didn't want to dance. No, like- let me tell you. See, this is this is why I respect you ruining the time. Because <laughs> I know, like, being cool. <laughs> let me tell you a, a real confession. Being cool is a job. Like, people who are cool, they say, oh, I make it look effortless. You work at being cool. When you dance at a wedding, you know you got to bring your A game. Like right. you got to really, you can't be goofy at a at a wedding because you'll be the goofy guy at the wedding. Mm-hmm. So that's even the moments where it's like, I like really got to be on your P's and Q's. Right, so we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do it at all. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but dancing at weddings is crazy. Like it's people you don't know. It's dancing at, and people get crazy yeah, at like, weddings. Not dancing at a club in the fucking the middle of Dubai. Nobody knows you there. Nobody dancing cares. at a wedding. That shit is in somebody's memory forever. Saving. It's on. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> if you dance at a wedding, you taking a risk. I agree. I agree. What are some non-traditional toppings for ice cream that you think would be pretty awesome? I know what I, you would say to that because it's not normal. What do you what think you, is normal? Peanuts and yeah, Oreos? Yeah, peanuts. That's so... Peanuts on ice cream is delicious. Peanuts you on have, ice cream is weird. Take a poll. Take a poll. That's exactly where I'm going. Podcast listeners, 
whatever, if you're listening still, well, you had to break this into five parts. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Listen, it's 2035. And I'm glad we're here together. We're all doing this and, and we're living on Mars now. <laughs> <laughs> but peanuts are weird I'm gonna but, be right I'm gonna be right and it's gonna be so awesome because every time you do a poll I no, win if, if you like as I was saying I was saying all that to say if you're still listening I got I got some I got ammo and you don't you don't have to you don't have to you don't have to um, hold this in I want you to get this off, listeners. I want you to go to like our Facebook page, my, my, the King Bo Christ Facebook page, or Twitter. Well, I'm gonna keep this poll up, okay? I want you because the last time my wife bet me with some shit like this, I lost. Bad. I took the L. Cause I don't bet unless I know I'm gonna win. I know. Sorry, I know I'm dragging this out. You're good. No, no the, I know you're fine because you love me, but the podcast listener. <laughs> I ain't editing this shit. This shit's like four hours. You crazy? You guys got Do you want me to ask out. the other question? No. Wait, okay. Peanuts are weird on ice cream. Reese's okay. Pieces, that's, exactly that's different. That's what I wanted to say. You think peanuts on ice cream is weird? Yes. Do you or do you not like pineapples on pizza? I do. But that is the totally most disgusting different. shit. No, it's not. I guarantee. I guarantee more people eat pizza with pineapple than they do peanuts on fucking ice cream. I guarantee it. Five hundred dollars. It's so annoying that you <laughs> see. This was a good idea until just one second ago when she set that price. Because the last time I said, "All right, motherfucking <laughs> double it." <laughs> I took the L. Next thing I know. I don't know. Like, you 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 worked it on me. We had like a double or not. We had a double or nothing. I think twice. I was just getting a little cocky with it, and then you won. And yeah, so no, no, back no. Down. This is. The, and then you felt. She bad. beat me so bad <laughs> that I had to finesse her out of a little bit back of the bet because I was like, "Damn, that's a lot of. That's another vacation." <laughs> so the next time she got real cocky, I was like. Look, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to knock something off that price I owe you if you really want to get paid. Because we live together and I got to see you every day. And I don't want to own you. I, I don't want to owe you. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> so I don't want to... Now you say that price, I'm like, oh, let me back. Let me take eat my foot off the gas now. But pineapples versus pizza. Pineapples it's a normal on pizza thing. is disgusting. No, it is not. But do I think that more people... Do that, yes, because I know more people like pizza. So I'm. This is going to be the first bet. This is on record. This is on record right now. The first bet in our marriage that I'm I'm turning down. That I'm taking true. that bet. Like, <laughs> you ain't gonna have me pay five hundred because she collects. My wife collects. Like, so uh, when you want to go to dinner, and I'll be like, oh, that's that's this week. And she'd be like, yeah, what you want to do? So, listen, I love you. We gonna go on a date. But we just came off the, the, the Brazilian steakhouse. We got to do something simple now. We got to go to, uh, we got to do something efficient. We got to go to Panera. Like, <laughs> so we'll get back. I'm not taking that bet, but I'll, I will put up a poll. Pineapples versus pizza. Pineapples on pizza is fucking disgusting. But I, I'm curious. I'm not going to take the bet. But I, I think I do. I do think I could win this. I, I'm not confident enough to take a bet, but I really feel like Pineapples on pizza is gross. No, it's not. She, oh, my sister. I'm so glad she's, my oh, sister is in the, in the chat. Awesome. Pi, whoa, pineapples are a no. That's two. And my sister said pineapple is totally disgusting and disrespectful. Disrespectful. Pineapples are a no. So that's, I'm too, I, the last bet. Oh, let me, let, hold on. Let's get to the, so why you, why you guys think about that? So is pineapple and pizza more gross than, uh, Peanuts on ice cream. That's our that's our question. But while we get while you while you're wondering that and you're pondering that and we're tallying up, we bet I was like um, my wife was like yo, I f what was it? Pe che oh, cheese versus bacon. Yeah. She was like yo, more people hate bacon than they hate cheese. I'm like no, just white people love cheese. Like not everybody loves cheese like that. Boy, was I wrong. Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
was like, oh shit. I'm like, oh my bad. If you ask me pizza versus bacon, uh, cheese versus bacon, I'm taking bacon. <laughs> Everybody in the world was like, bro, you're bugging. I was like, damn. And, and I was so, I was so fucking sure. Oh, Kia the Cali girl, big shout out to you, says pepperoni and pineapple is heaven. And Thank see, you. I knew Thank you was you. bugging before. <laughs> And I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt because I actually like you, but now nah, I know you're bugging now. Like, <laughs> pineapple, come on, pineapple is a fruit. It is on every Star Walker pizza menu. said it's a no for me, dog. Exactly, like pineapple. It's on it's a every fruit. Like, pizza menu. I love kiwi. People I would never like put it. that on a Ew, fucking. That's disgusting. Pineapple my, exact, is different. Pi- Pineapple okay, so I love different. oranges. Everyone loves a good fucking sweet tangerine or some shit. It don't no, mean you should go and throw it on weird. a pizza. That's different. Like everybody pineapple loves a Granny Smith different. apple. Okay, you make like like chicken teriyaki has pineapple in it sometimes. Like some like savory foods have pineapple in them. It's a thing. Yeah, I get that, but not on pizza. Yes, on pizza, it's a thing. This is. We're just gonna do the poll. We're gonna. We have to do the poll. I'm moving on. Next question, because okay. I feel like I could do a whole fucking podcast about. We this. could. We absolutely I could. could. And the point. And, and I'm and hungry and now. And, and the point I was. Want Domino's. Want to order Domino's? We ain't got shit to do. All right. <laughs> what time is it? I don't. We gonna be up to open? three in the morning. This is crazy. <laughs> um, All right. So let's move on to this. My bad. The next what the one. hell is wrong with peanuts on ice cream? Oh, she likes to keep bacon is life. Cheese is amazing. See, I, I, see, I respect that. See, a lot of people were in between. Like, I get that because yeah, it's hard to choose. Were. So I, I'm yeah. not mad. Some people, my man was like, yo, don't make me, don't make me right. make that choice. And right. we laughed about it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Like, she, she, is that like a... I don't know if that's a New York thing. I don't know. I, I figured uh, peanuts on... It's weird. Listen, th- 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 see, Mr. Softy having an Oreo or a peanut on an ice cream is regular. A fucking pineapple on a pizza? Like, who dropped the shit on a pizza and was just lazy and ate it anyway? Like, that's what that shit says to me. Like, that's all that is. But, so, the question... The qu- yeah, <laughs> anchovies are on every menu. <laughs> oh, my sister said that. True. It, who the fuck eats anchovies? What is an anchovy? Uh, like uh, I forget fish something. I forget it's something gross like that you shouldn't eat. Like yeah. <laughs> I forget what that shit is, but yeah, exactly. Anchovies on every menu. So it's fucking what's the snails called? Uh, escargot. Escargot. Don't eat that shit. Uh, try a frog leg. Like just be basic. Anyway, the point of this was we were talking about non-traditional toppings for ice cream that you think would be pretty awesome. And then we got into the whole... Because he tried to call me out on my pineapple on my pizza. Next question. What silly thing do you take a lot of pride in? Uh, I don't know. I take a lot... Of, I take so much pride in things I take pride in that it's not silly to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> like, this is... This is serious. I don't know. That like, makes sense. I take too much shit serious, so I don't. That's a, everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What's the best conspiracy theory you can make up on the spot? Uh, I don't know. That's the problem with the world. Like, I don't even want to. I wouldn't put that on the record. It's not real. Yeah. I I give my wife enough scenarios, but like conspiracy <laughs> theory, like true. No. Well, if That's this happens, fun. what are we yeah, going to do? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> How much is the correct amount of ice cream to put on an ice cream cone? Wow, that's a great question. I'm going to tell you, a, like an inch over the cone. Well, that big ass scoop that Carvel gives melts, me, gets all that shit just hand. makes a mess. Just give me enough. I just want to eat the cone, really. Like I like the inside of it. Like right. My favorite ice cream we used to be ice cream sandwiches, but I ate so many of them that I can't. Like eat, I, it's like tequila. Like I can't oh, even okay. stand them anymore. <laughs> like I'm all Kit Kat out at this yeah, point. Like yeah. that was my. It's just my favorite. So, like uh, ice cream with just a little bit. Of, I don't even like the ice cream. Like how I drink coffee, right? With more fucking creamer and then all the bullshit and sugar than coffee. Like just a little bit of ice cream and the cone. So just a like enough, tiny bit. Like a, okay. like what you do on a cupcake. Like how you just right. Like just that. You don't okay. gotta go crazy. Don't don't stack it. That makes sense. Should oh, this is a good question. Should toilet paper hang over or under? First of all, I'm looking at that question. It said TP. I had no fucking clue. And That's normally, why I said normally I could do that. Like <laughs> normally I could like. I was like TP. Like 
That's not how you spell TP. The questions were so fucking I, like re- reading them. I'm you're actually like I would be like what you're correcting the grammar on the spot, which is an ill freestyle to me because I'm like looking at this shit like what the fuck does that say? And y'all niggas know I'm dyslexic, like I said. But anyway, should toilet paper hang over or under? Under because no. So I could. I do it backwards? Yes. Wow. This is on the right rec- podcast <laughs> listeners. This is breaking news to me. I swear I never. It's not this a is big not, this deal. This is a real thing. But since is, the subject's coming up, you do always put it under. And I'm like, oh. you know, but this is really? like, this is a debate people have. Too. Wow. This could I, be a poll as well. We never. Wow. Poll time. <laughs> That's crazy. Because if it's under, you can't like feel it or see it. It's just hanging there and over you can see it and you can I don't know it's just supposed to be over I'm gonna sorry listeners again bear with us so when when we when we take this when I take this time instead of making me edit this shit out and you being frustrated like oh why didn't you edit go fucking get interactive don't be weird and if you're driving like sorry (laughs) (laughs) but um so pineapples versus pizza and toilet paper toilet TP over or under over I didn't know what the fuck this shit gonna mean in the morning uh, <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting you guys know that I think toilet paper should be hung under so I could cause I like to whoosh, like whoosh, like, the, like the swipe if it's under and I whoosh, it goes <laughs> and gets all over the place does that make sense when it's under it does that when it's over I, I, if, I that's when I pull too much Oh, because you don't know how to like just rip something. No, because I don't. I don't want. I don't. You. I don't like. Psh, like I don't do that. I, I like snatch it. Snatch. Like I'm a. Because literally I'm a, like the, everything you do I, is the aggressive. Crazy is, I'm making aggressive. a move. I'm making a gesture right now, but the <laughs> listeners don't know because I don't even know what to call it. Because I don't. I just a do it. Snatch. Just a snatch. Like when you toilet paper snatch. Pull the fucking tablecloth off without fucking up okay. the dishes. Like I do it like that. Yeah. Like I treat it like a, a, a matador. Like I said, like, <laughs> you're aggressive with everything, including ripping off toilet paper. I guess so. Wow. That's crazy. Anyway, so you're wrong. Next question. <laughs> Next question. I'm wrong. There you go. I'll give my wife that. I'll give my wife that. If animals were as intelligent as humans, what types of jobs would certain animals be uniquely qualified for? If animals were as intelligent as humans, what? I don't know. I don't know. I say skip it. Yeah, Some of these questions it. are just like, like pointless. Don't make me even. think that much. I'm right. sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, this one, that one's not. We probably explained that. I feel like I explained that if if you yeah if you listen this much. What's the best? Who would win in fight A or B? You could come up with. Uh, Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson. I don't know who would win. Yeah, I don't know there you that go. either. Next question. If you could speak to everyone in your country at the same time, what sentence could you say that would make the most amount of people instantly hate you? Nope, not going to do that. Next <laughs> question. That leads us down politics. Yep, it does. I don't want to go down that road. If you were forced into a dance competition, what song would you choose to dance to? I whip my hair back and forth. I whip <laughs> my hair. <laughs> Just whip it. Just whip it real good. Hands down. Hop up out the bed with and my swag serious. on. I'm he's dead ass. Willow so Smith got serious. that heat. Like, I'm, when you, as soon as I heard dance competition, that's, I, really, <laughs> I, I felt it. As he's dancing. You can hear his chains. No, that's a fact. <laughs> I put my jewelry on for this, for that very question. Next question. <laughs> you have unlimited wishes, but every time Sorry. you make a wish, what you love most is erased from the world. How many wishes do do you make nope. and what do you wish for? No, you can't wish to not have things erased from the world. Sure, I, this is my show. I could absolutely do that. Okay. What's What's the next question? What crazy things will you do if you ever become rich? <laughs> oh, shit, we can end the podcast here because I can go on for three hours about that. I know, that. you like, can. <laughs> three what crazy, years. I'm going to tell you what the craziest thing I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do. I'm going to enter a party on a helicopter. Like, like I'm going to drop down like SWAT, but in like a silk robe or some shit. Like, that's the. I think that's the the craziest plan I have. I don't know when it's gonna happen. But if you've we're been dreaming this, about it into two thousand in two thousand thirty five, like I was just joking about before, and didn't sum up. But I've probably done that by now, because that I I don't. It's the weirdest fucking like. But you've been fantasizing I'm about tell you it some for crazy a while. Shit also, about this. It's weird. That I just looked at the three thirty three sign. Now don't take me down this road because this whole episode is like. 
don't I don't we talked about conspiracy theories that I could think about on the spot. I could give you one. That's why I didn't want to go down this road. And I skipped it and I'm not gonna go there. But like I wanted this shit for so long that I know it's like it's like goals. Like and it's so stupid. But what doesn't make me wanna do it is uh, Owen Hart in the WWF he fell from the fucking ceiling like that was his entrance he fell off that shit and died I swear like it's fucking morbid and that just, just that, that just got dark but that's the only reason that makes sense that you when I was rich it. as hell I yeah. didn't have it done like I swear I thought about going to my grandma's barbecue I was like uh, yeah. I was like ah. I was like I don't I was like, there's trees there. And I was really like, nah, that would probably be dangerous. Yeah, because if, if it was off by a tiny If it bit. was like, if she had like a massive backyard, like if she lived right. in like fucking Florida, I don't have this shit done. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not, at like 18. Like, <laughs> I, that's, I, that's so stupid, but that's something I want to do. But I got to be rich because if you do it like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm past it, but if I did it at Diddy's party, he'd understand if that makes sense. <laughs> Like, if I did it for my grandma's party now, that would be, like, that's the most ridiculous thing I've like, ever done. Like, the fuck? But when I say rich, I mean, like... Filthy rich. Filthy rich. Like, they'd be, like, owner of comes right. in on party. And it'd just be news, like, because right. it's some ill shit I really wanted to do, but not for the stunt. Right. You know, like, not for, for that reason. But anyway, next question. Okay. How would you... How would the world change if health potions existed? Oh, it would be way overpopulated. Jesus Christ, it just went south. I'm like, just saying. What you mean? Overpopulated? That's why they don't release the cures. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, shit, give it to me. Shit. I'm not saying I don't want it. Oh, I guess. Uh, well. I'm not saying that I don't want I was that, thinking like, like, live, like, I was thinking like. um. Like everybody would live Kalanick forever. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. What's but wrong like, with that? Son of room. Well, I guess they're going to Mars, so. Yeah, I guess. We just send some people to Mars. <laughs> I feel like we should be able to vote people. No, off I'm the not going. Anyway. Yeah, they should go to Mars if you if you disagree. You should go to Mars. I ain't going. Anyway, health potions. What is the last thing you googled? MC Light. Yep. What's a lame joke you use on a regular basis? Uh. Uh, lame wife jokes that you say to old white men when you just want to get oh, past like, the joke and move forward. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, she makes me do that. Like, ho, ho, ho. like that. It's like, I hate doing it, but it's like, it's, yeah, if you're going to be weird and talk about this. Like, right. Like, what's, I, yeah, I get it. Yeah, like, yeah. It's always awkward. That's why I say lame joke. Like, I don't even like doing it, but it's just yeah. like, yeah, I guess. What's the weirdest wrong number text or phone call you've gotten? Yo, you really want to know some crazy shit? This is a crazy one. It was around this time I was with, I was with Harris. No, later. Me and Harris were up to like three thirty in the morning, four in the morning. Probably the probably the sun was about to come up. This the that just bugged me out that shit because I was thinking about it with him, and it's crazy. That's the three thirty three episode. This is when I knew I was a good person for real. And this is this is also gets back to snitching. The your eyes just widened. Sorry, did I? Because I know. It? What? No, you don't. <laughs> don't go confessing shit I don't think I've ever told you you that, haven't this, oh okay oh you said because you don't know yeah I mean like oh, I, I, you said, I, know I know it's going to be serious oh, oh like, I thought you meant because I, I know what, what it is, is. I was no. like no no no, no that, I don't that's not podcast material <laughs> mission aboard like, <laughs> but, but um, I'm with Harrison we recording and doing what we're doing three in the morning this girl, I don't even know how she had my number, I swear, till this day. And she actually thanked me. I'm not going to say her name. But she thanked me like, yo, you saved my life. She fucking, she was drunk and she fell down the stairs and hit her head and was out. Her friend, I don't know who the fuck she was trying to, they was wasted. They called me. Like I, I didn't even know that they had my number. I'm like, hello? And she was like, yo, so-and-so fell down the stairs and hit her head. And I was like, what? She was like, yeah, she's not breathing. And I was like, yo, you good? I'm like joking. I'm like, I was probably like, me and Harris, I was probably like 15. Wow. We, I just, like cell phones was new. Like prank hole might've got you to yeah. me. Like yeah. this shit might've got me. That's why, I, this, that's like, why this shit was crazy. Like, huh? Like punk might in there. Like I'm not, yeah. if it happened to me now, I'd have been like, oh my God, I'm calling the cops. Or like, yeah. But at the time it was just like, what? So um, I was like, what? 
So she's like, yeah, she's not breathing. I'm like, what you mean? I'm like, I, but I was just like, what? what? Once, I, once I said the person, I'm like, she was like, who is this? I was like, it's Carlton. I was that young. I was like, it's Carl. What you? And she was like, yo, she hit her. She didn't even know who she called. Like, she was just like, I'm like, wait, what? So she was just bugging. She was just saying it. And I just happened to know the person. Like, I don't even, this shit is crazy. And I was like, wait, what? So I looked at Harrison and he was like, yo. Because we were laughing at first. Like, what the fuck? Right. Like, what do you mean? Like, And I'm like, oh, no, something's wrong. We're young. Think about it. We're 15. I, yeah, I wasn't crazy. older than 16. So th- when she, um, like, when shit got serious, I was like, yo. And Harrison was like, yo. Like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, I think we should call the cops. And he was like, yeah, call the ambulance. It took me like another five minutes to get her fucking like where the address that, where yeah. they were. Like, I was like, yo, where are you? I don't know where you. And they were like, yo, where, whatever. Like, what's that? I don't know. Like, I was like, yo, you got to go outside. Like, you have to look at the, look at the door. Wow, like, what street crazy. are you on? And I had to do that shit. I called the fucking ambulance. They had to like pump her stomach. The shit was crazy. I mean, she, she was okay. She was never, it was never anything wrong with her. I'm not saying she was going to die. I don't know. I can't dangerous. give you all that. Yeah. But I don't, but the ambulance had to fucking do break her shit. ass up. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that was the craziest, yeah. like, wrong text I've ever, like, that shit fucking, after that, it really, like, like I was like, whoa. Like, young, I remember being like, Matt, whoa, like, what if I didn't have a cell phone? Or I was like. Like, or what if it was nowadays when people don't answer the phone? You know, if you don't text. No, but but see, then it wasn't even on my mind that you wouldn't answer the phone. Like, right, I know. That's what I mean. That, like, but, what if it happened today? But it was so crazy that it was like, what if I didn't answer the phone? Like, right. good thing I have this thing. Right, Like, yeah. it was like when, so, it was before you don't, you wouldn't think of not answering the phone. I know, Does I know. Make, like, when your house phone rang and you were yeah, excited. Yeah, I'm saying, like, like <laughs> now it's different. Yeah, now yeah. it's different, though. That's but crazy. But, like, it's like, now you get a wrong number. Like, who the fuck is this at? Like, yeah. you're like, hey, is Brenda there? Like, who the fuck is Brenda? I don't know any Brenda. You don't know what the fuck's going on. But, like, at the time, it was like, what? Like, a drunk call, you, you wanted to fucking know what was yeah. going on. Yeah. But that's the craziest, that weirdest, is crazy. drunkest uh, thing that's ever happened. All right, that's probably tops it <laughs> for t- weird calls. If you were given immortality, no, never mind. But we'll there do one was one more question. Okay, you want to do one? Are you done? No. No? Well, fuck it. Keep going then. <laughs> but there was one condition. What would stop you from accepting immortality? What? I fucking. I, don't I feel like, like the questions, questions are dark. Going down. Like, <laughs> It's too late for that shit. Uh, you're gonna... Let's find a couple fun ones to end on at least. Okay. Wife's um... orders. Personal questions. All right, we're gonna pick random questions. World view. There you go. What group of people do you find it impossible to take seriously? No. No. I'm gonna um... say Trump supporters in 2017, like. Well, no, no. I won't even just say Trump supporter, but people who I won't say I won't even say Trump supporters. I'll say with when sh- I'll say both sides. I'll say when shit is wrong with the world, whether it's Hillary or Trump or who or me or whoever. Like when you fucking vouch for some shit that's wrong, like if you're making a case for why Bill Cosby wasn't wrong, right. or if you dare to make a case for like fucking Harvey Weinstein, like, well, you know, things are different. Like in right. Bill O'Reilly, like, well, you know, things are different. Mm-hmm. I can't take you serious. Like you're right. not being realistic with yourself. That makes sense. So to, to really bring things back on track and like to get serious, like I, it's just like be real. So if, you, if you're if you denying bullshit. Full denial. Yeah, full denial. Like, I can't take fucking people who just aren't realistic. And, you know, it, by this point in the episode, you know my point in realistic. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Where's, what can someone say that always makes you cringe? Uh, I'll dent it! Oh, God. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's actually... The word al dente annoys me. Badly. Like, err. It's probably Stop bad to that put word. that out there. Uh, when is it better to act first and ask for forgiveness later? Act first. Uh, hmm. When... 
when is it better? When you're really yourself. If you're being true to yourself, like, I, I'd rather you that just say sense. it and tell me how you really feel. Yeah. But you got to know, that in, in, in light of what we just said, we were talking about like being realistic. You got to know what's personal and what's like, I mean, what, what, what is controversial, I say. Like, you got to know, like, if you're talking to your friends, that's what I mean. Like, I, it's better with when you're with people who you're surrounded and people who you love. It's better to tell them how you really feel. Because maybe you could help someone. Like, you know what I mean? And, I, and, and I'm going to tell you this also. Maybe we could even end on this. I didn't even I didn't even say it to you. I had, I wasn't even gonna talk about it. I saw my brother. I haven't spoken to my brother in two years because he said some bullshit. But we're not mm-hmm. even gonna get into that on the okay. podcast. I saw him, and and my uncle made. He was like, "Yo, y'all should just talk." I'm like, "I don't want to talk to him." Like, but my uncle, I was doing the right thing. Like, right. All right. Like he was like, right. Because shit got very tense. Like, all right, motherfucker. Like, you know, like, and I, I and I don't want to. And that's why I really want to I want to end on a serious note. Like when I saw him, we are not on the best of terms. We haven't spoken in 2 years, not a peep. Like in a couple months it would be 3 years, right? So when I saw him and my uncle, I'm like, "Yo man, go ahead where you going, bro?" Like and I was like, "Yo, I, I'm going to leave. Like let me like to make a long story short, like he was like, "See, this is it, we we started to argue and I'm like, "Nah, bro. You know what?" I'd rather fucking tell you how I feel right now. And maybe if I'm wrong, looking you in your face, I have to tell you how I feel. And if I'm wrong, we'll talk about it after. But it's best for me to just get this off. You know what I mean? It's best for me to just tell you how I feel. And and if you don't agree, then we'll either agree to disagree. And when I say ask for forgiveness later, maybe that's 20 years from now. I don't know what to tell you. But... Why I was saying all that, I was say, I mean, why I was saying that is because like always being true to yourself and always being true to you, who you are. Don't ever let that shit offend anybody. Be happy. Be happy. And 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 also and, and but with that being said, if you're true to, and and this is I like that. I this almost went into some other shit. I didn't want to take it there, but the, I but with my brother, I'm not saying it's to him, but. I'm I'm ending that. I'll even get into that later. I may even that shit. I may even edit out because, but I was I was gonna go on a whole other story. But like, if you if you don't fucking if you don't wanna better yourself and, and you don't wanna and you wanna be fucking miserable, that's when it's the worst time to to just act. And ask for forgiveness like that. I think that's what when we fuck up, like when you have to ask, like, well, when you when you should act and we should ask for forgiveness. Like if you're if if the things you feel like aren't going to benefit someone and aren't going to contribute to being a better relationship or whatever, don't even fucking say it. You know what I mean? Like it's pointless. It's pointless. You know, you should you should never act and, you know, like. If you're not being true to yourself and you're just trying to fucking do something, because I was guilty, I'm guilty of it also. I'm guilty of just doing things to do it and not thinking about the consequences. And and you don't want to be at that place. You know what I mean? You don't want to be when you want to. When I think when you ask me a question like when is it better to act first and ask for forgiveness later, I think about harmless shit. Like right. And then I start to think about like what happens when you don't when you act without thinking. And what the result that that gets you, I think about that and it takes me, that's what makes it like sore. You know what I mean? Like that's what makes it like, you know, when people fucking do that, that takes me down another road and that doesn't, that's when I go off into some other shit. You know, when I, when I say, think of re- reliving every moment that happens in my life, like I really have a yeah. story for every way I feel about stuff. And maybe it's not the best I share it on the podcast sometimes, <laughs> but I got, I don't know, man. Like, I, sometimes I feel like I got like it's it's why that's why it's a weird moment in podcasting and and sometimes when people are like t- like like um even like uh, with the with the fucking Beasia episode like a mm-hmm. while ago like when I first was getting into it right and I sent and Alexa was like flesh these thoughts out like let like you know what I mean like if you're gonna say something like that don't like don't just stop there but right. sometimes I'm like it's too much it's too much you know it. 
maybe if you catch me in person and you got time to really sit down with me, <laughs> maybe I can do this. Well, my, my podcast would be eight hours. But you've that's your proof behind everything. And that's why I name my shit that I say that to say this, because I really have a fucking story for everything. And I swear, these fucking podcasts, if you really wanted to take, if I wanted to fucking take you through it the way I... It would have to be 24-7. Like, this shit would have to be the real world. Because some yep. shit I go through in my life, I'm like, you wouldn't, you fucking had to be there. I, telling you the story sounds fucking one-sided and, and ridiculous. But some shit, you really have to be there. And and as uh, with good things, I love those moments. But when bad things, like with negative things, I hate those moments. Because it's like, man, that's the shit that defines a person. Like, you know what I mean? So... I was rambling on. It's better to fucking be true to yourself. Think before you act. Think before you act. <laughs> that was a long-winded think before you act. I don't want to end there. What's the biggest waste of money? Oof. I'm going to tell you. That's why I'm good. I'm glad you said that. I don't. This is this episode is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, listeners. Maybe I'll play some music in this motherfucker. We got a link of sounds and vibes <laughs> playlist along this in the background. Of this motherfucker. But um, what what was the biggest waste of money? Biggest waste of money. Mm -hmm. Cars. Yeah, I I agree. And that's why I wanted. That's why I, like I, I said it because. I uh, I know it's the biggest waste of money, but, but that's yeah, why it's but, the biggest waste of money. Right. Because it's so fucking, if you're going to waste your money, it might as well be that. To me, like, I don't even feel like you should go over to, because a house is the biggest waste of money, right? But it doesn't have to be if you do it right. Because people get how people get homes that are not realistic to their, right. to their needs. Right. Like, or even their means. Our dream home is totally unrealistic to our means. Yeah. But, but when we get it, it won't be a waste of, it'll be a good waste of money. So it won't be the biggest waste of money, but right. cars, I know myself with cars. It's like. They only last so long. Yeah. Like, I know I'm I ain't going to leave my dream house. Of like, cars, right. I'll be in my dream house for 40 years. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be in my dream car for fucking no. three years. Right. Like, it, the world don't work that way no more. It's like right. an iPhone. Yep. Which is the second biggest waste of money. Next True. question. But to wrap this up, and I know a lot of shit has been going on. We've been went through a, we went through a lot of questions. We're almost at four hours. And if you're listening, I appreciate you. But I just want you guys to know the true the true me, the true what I you know. One of the original questions was like, "What the fuck? Uh, what you what what makes your podcast different, different. from other right. podcasts?" Right? I I really feel like. And like I, like I told you, I really feel like it's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just talking about just everything. You know, like I was going to just, that's what that, I just, it's just what makes it me. I almost went off into another story, but <laughs> now you get it. But I love to just give my life. I love to offer me if it could help you be a better you. You know what I mean? I, I love it. And, and when they like, are you... Is, do you have the actual information? Do you have, like, no, when I, this is a freestyle off the top. You know what I'm saying? And like, I was just saying to my wife, if you, I treat this shit like music for real. I really treat it like my, my timestamp. And that's why I value real music because real music comes from your soul. When I tell you, God, when I talk on this podcast, I'm talking from my soul. I'm just telling you what I, what I know, what I have to offer in, in, in my, in my 29 years. You know what I'm saying? At this point, if you're listening in 2035, don't make me do the math, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm older. I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I love to, if I, if I was a rapper, I would fucking, I'd put on a beat. I mean, I'd be like, I'd call Metro Boomin, like, yo, what you doing? <laughs> and he'd be like. I don't know. I'm in the crib. I don't trust niggas. And I'd be like, <laughs> I'm coming through. He'd be like, I bet. I'd be like, yo, play every beat. I call Swiss beats. Like, yo, play every beat you got just straight. And I'm going to just go. Like how Wayne used to just freestyle, I would do it that way. So to be able to do that and not have to rhyme on my podcast, 
It's like, oh, shit, I could do this all day. And I really, like, I have to limit myself with my podcast because I feel like until it's really, you know, like. I, I you get deeper into it. Not not really, but, like, I feel like I, I sh- me I, as a showman, I'm whether it's one person looking, a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, I'm going to do me. So I really feel like, but the, this world has a short attention span. So yeah. that's why it's like, all right, you got to, you got to pace yourself. If you're really right. in it for you, just let them go with you, you know. Right. And I talked about it on the last podcast with the guy, Michael Trey. Like, I treat it like I'm in a bar. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't always, I treat it like, I meet you in a bar and I talk to right. you. You don't always want to close that motherfucker right. down. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's when it's like, all right, bro. Like, you cut know, it off. Everybody knows your name. Right. Like, <laughs> so I was saying all that to say, listeners, I enjoyed you. My lovely wife. We We ended this two hours ago, I think. But and then I said, but wait, there's more. <laughs> I really appreciate you joining in. Anytime. I know, Thanks for I having know you me. Mean it. And we're gonna do this again very soon, listeners. So as as the KBC episode, I really want to thank you guys. This shit is like um we're gonna pop some champagne to this okay. in our heads when this <laughs> shit comes out on Thanksgiving. <laughs> or if you're listening to this in 2035. Um Pop some champagne. We got some Bel Air Rose. So when we, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna treat this shit like a Netflix series and we're gonna listen to it together. Okay. It's gonna be hard. It's probably gonna, it's gonna take gonna us really till 2035, hard. but we're gonna do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. I can't believe I dragged you into this shit. I just said earlier in the episode I didn't wanna drag you into this shit and I dragged you into it. But um, thank you all. And uh, you guys mean the world to me, especially you. I'm out. Listeners, whatever you're listening on, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go rate this. So if you're in the iTunes store, go ahead. If you feel like I deserve one star, go for it. But if you enjoy what you heard, go ahead and give that five stars. And if you're on anything else, like this and share it with somebody who you think needs to hear it. <laughs>